What is up everyone? Welcome to Carter Plays. Hey, that was amazing. That was so amazing. And I think we have the person that arranged the entire piece in the chat. Am I saying your am I saying your name right? Is it is it Mina? Is it Mina? Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how many times I have watched that video of that orchestra. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it just gives me chills. It's so, so good. Um, it's funny because after rediscovering the Nancy Drew music back during the pandemic and going through and listening to all the music, I was like, there is no better game that could be orchestrated than Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. It's so, it's just amazing. That ending song at the very end of the game is amazing. But Nan incorrect Nancy Drew quotes, I think I'm saying it right, Mina, in the chat, you did a phenomenal job and I'm so thankful that I was able to share it again with everyone. Thank you for giving me permission. Uh, man, it was amazing. Amazing. So hey, um, what's up everyone? Welcome to Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. I'm so excited to jump into this with you guys tonight. Um, it's been a really long time since I've played this game, at least three years. So it'll be like kind of fresh for me. So I'm excited. But hey everyone in the chat, we got Chaz, we got Mina, we got Carly, Courtney, Tori, um, RG, so many people. Thank you so much for hopping along. Um, and joining. I will say, I totally forgot uh, in preparation for tonight's game. I just don't know why, but uh, I forgot I have all the strategy guides to the games. And so I was like, oh man, let me just, I'm gonna pull this out. And in case I need it for tonight, <laughs> for any puzzle tonight, like Tori, <laughs> the slugs, because I'm terrible at math. Oh man. Yes, it's so good. And I can't wait to see what other pieces that you may do, that you may put together. I'm so excited. The only the only other one I can think of that I would be like so, so excited to listen to is, uh, um, what, what is that? Secret of the Old Clock. It has that like urgent, I think that's what the title of the track is, Urgent. And it just would be, oh, it would be so great to hear that. All of them would really be great to hear, to be honest with you. But yeah, I would be so excited for that. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm feeling so much better, Tori. Thank you for asking. Yeah, okay. So, health update for anyone that didn't know. So, I I tested positive for COVID this week, and this is the first time I have ever uh tested positive. So, it was it it took me down for a week. Um this this felt like the original like 2020 2019 COVID. Um and I am so so much better i've taken a lot of medicine i've really really rested um this week and watched a lot of other nancy drew streamers which was great because i don't normally get that time but i had to be off for work and so it's been uh good to catch up with other streamers and rest my body and i'm ready to hop back into it so thank you guys so much for asking you guys are so kind now real quick before wait I've already started arranging it and I started with urgent. Oh, I'm so excited. This is exciting. Well, I cannot wait to hear. Oh man. Yes, no. So first order of business, first order of business. Okay, before we begin today's game, I promised, I promised some people that I was going to give them a shout out for their amazing Nancy Drew, uh, um, merch that they create okay and i'm finally doing it so welcome to kind of i'm going to do it quickly because i know we got to get started an impromptu unpacking of my nancy drew stuff technically i've already unpacked it but it'll be kind of unpacking for you guys so um yeah let me show you the first thing there's four different etsy shops that i got this stuff from that i want to shout out the first is uh the krollmeisters etsy shop they are selling um, postcards from the games and I got like a pack of eight for like $5 it, they're, and they're they're like legit postcards it's amazing so I wanted to show you guys because they're amazing uh, you have the Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion postcard um, we have Zeke's New Orleans Louisiana postcard and it looks oh it looks so good these are all hand handmade hand drawn um, come visit Deception Island Washington Right, right. Um, we have Discover Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. 
Oh, it looks so good. We also have the Royal Palladium. Mm -hmm. And the Ryokan. Oh, I personally love this one. Greetings from Shadow Ranch. It looks so good. Like, ah. Uh. And also Wickford, Wisconsin, the birthplace of chocolate milk. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, I want to just keep all of this forever. Hey, a couple other people in chat. Hey, Carly. Hey, Pomport. And Indie Crafts, what's up? Uh, Oh, well, thank you so much for uh, hopping on a stream, Pomport. I'm so excited that you're here. Um, okay, the second Etsy shop that I want to tell you guys about is the Sweetest Books. You may know them as DJ Twin Gamers in the Nancy Drew community. They play uh, some Nancy Drew games and some other variety games. Um, but I saw these and was like, yes, I have to have these. It is the Wickford Candies. Oh my gosh. It's so great, but that wasn't even my favorite one. My favorite one that I got to get from them. Oh, and I'm so excited about it. I don't even know where I'm going to use this at yet. Yumi's Bento. Look at it. Oh, look at it. It's just so cute. So cute and so good. And then third, third, and I won't show you all of it because it is a lot and we got to get going. Um, is Kate Drew something. She makes some amazing sticker sheets. Um, and she makes them for each game, which is pretty cool, like if you wanted to get one for each game. So I'm just going to show you real quick uh, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Look at that. Whoa, it's got all the stuff. It's got Fatima, the slugs, I love the slugs, and the dolls, the shoes, everything. It's so, so good. So yeah, be sure to check out Kate Drew something on Etsy. And then last, but certainly not least, is uh, Lemon Pepper Creations. This is uh, Susanna, Susie, um, yes, and I'm so excited uh, to show you off some of these stickers. Now, first of all, we've got like the standard Nancy Drew stickers, uh, like Whale World and, and The Clock and Hot Kettle Cafe and Whale World, The Handprint and Holt Scotto, like we have all of those nice, awesome stickers, right? But also, she has options where you can like buy stickers that like, are they have glitter. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys though, cause uh, let's see. Like this is the gem from today's game. And see, oh, if you can see, it glitters. And it, I, bought, I bought those like that because I was like, oh, what better sticker to shine like that than the gemstones from Train. So I'm so excited about those. And, uh, also this, look, this is so exciting. This is uh, Prudence Rutherford. This is Manette's designs for Prudence Rutherford's outfits and you can literally put them on to the outfit. And also when Nancy goes and grades in the secret, uh, no, secret, I was gonna say secret of Shadow Ranch. <laughs> no, Shadow Water's Edge, yeah. And yeah, oh, 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 and other last thing from Lemon Pepper Creations. A replica of a jade carving but yes I had to show you guys that today so so good some good stuff that I have enjoyed buying from these Etsy shops so yes you have to apologize I apologize for my long rant but I had to do it I had to do it you guys it's some good stuff so make sure to go check them out okay OMG, I'm so glad everyone's like loving the stickers. Yes, go buy you some stickers. This is your favorite game? Oh, this one's such a good one. I can't wait. <laughs> you have a Fatima sticker on the back of your laptop. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. Right? That's what I said. I was like, I thought it was genius to have Prudence stickers. So good. Oh, I really did. I really scored some good stuff. So I'm excited to share with you guys. Okay, let's let's get this game over here. Ooh, yeah. It's so good to be solving a mystery on a Friday night with my 
Clue Crew friends. This is going to be so good. Okay. Let's do it. Welcome to my latest case. Last train to Blue Moon Canyon. To start, choose junior or senior detective. Definitely junior. Dear Hannah, here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives about to board a train bound for who knows where. The only person who knows where Ooh, we're going I've been to is Union Roy station. Gerard. That's the young woman who invited everyone. Actually, she didn't really invite me. She invited Frank and Joe Hardy, and they invited me. And I've always wanted to join forces with the Hardy boys. I just hope this doesn't turn out to be another one of Lori's silly attempts to grab publicity. Some people can be a little too rich and a little too famous for their own good. <laughs> Wish me luck. Love, Nancy. Well, people, now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. Okay, I, again, am Lori Gerard, <laughs> and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray, I am so thrilled that you're taking time out from that TV show of yours to do some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers is like the best cable show ever. And Charlena Purcell. I cannot tell you how much I adore <laughs> Look how much she like does not care. You're right. Your characters just seem so real, and all that stuff you like, know uh -huh. about the old west. You uh, are just okay. Awesome. I'm back to typing. <laughs> and Tino Balducci, only the most famous police detective in the country. And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. They're amateur detectives. My dad and their dad are old friends. And you must be the other amateur detective, their friend, Natalie. Nancy, oh Nancy my gosh, Drew, Natalie. whatever. All right, I'll bet you. No one ever gets Nancy's name right. Well, we're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. Why? To solve the mystery of what happened to Jake Hurley, the man who originally owned this train. Because see, one day in 1903, his train, this train, was found in a place called Blue Moon Canyon, which was out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Only the engineer was on board, and he was dead. As for Jake Hurley, mm. he had disappeared from the face of the The storytelling earth. is off the charts right now. I'm so oh, invested. Oh, and two more things. Before he disappeared, Jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world. And the train he owned, this train, his wife Camille died on it while they were going to the gold fields. It was rumored to be haunted. <laughs> She's gone. Oh my gosh. What in the world? What the? Hey, what's going on? People should never go tampering with things they don't understand. Oh, brother. It's okay. Everybody just stay calm. And everyone's all calm. Panic. I'll get to the <laughs> No one's of this. panicking. Oh my goodness. Well, Nancy, you're up on all that social etiquette stuff. What are you supposed to do when your hostess vanishes into thin air? Oh, man. If I don't seem concerned, it's because I'm not. Lori Gerard is a young woman whose only goal in life is to be famous. She craves attention and habitually uses her father's considerable wealth to get it. Okay. Iconic. The entire introduction is so iconic. I mean... Oh, my word. The personalities all at that table at one time. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, how well do you know her? How well do you know her? I don't really know her, I just know of her. The only reason I accepted her invitation was because I've come across the name Jake Hurley several times in my research, and this seemed like a good opportunity to learn more about him. What was your name again? Nancy <laughs> no Drew. one knows. You and I no one knows my met. name. Sort of. I called you not too long ago when I was at Shadow Ranch. You gave me some information about Dirk Valentine. Ah, Nancy Drew. You remember me? No. Oh, so brutal. So brutal. Have you ever met Lori's other guests before? Psst. Nancy. Come here. Uh, excuse me for a second. Okay. You know, actually talking to Charlena Purcell, you know who would be like, you know what vibes she gives me? She gives me like Devil Wears Prada vibes, Meryl Streep. That's, that, that's who should play her, is Meryl Streep. Charlene's outfit gets you every time. Hey, Nancy. Yeah. Where have you two been? I followed Tino Balducci. And I went after John Gray. 
He went straight to the room in the car that used to be Camille's and didn't come out again. I could hear all these weird noises coming from inside. Any idea what he was doing? I was just about to go in, but the next thing I know, Joe's got my arm in a vice grip and is dragging me back here, babbling about how Balducci's our guy. He found something on the floor right where Lori was standing when the train went dark. I saw mm -hmm. him pick it up and put it in his pocket. Then he left. Did you ask him about it? When I tried to talk to him, he just kind of brushed me aside and said something snotty like, I'm on the job here, Junior. So just <laughs> go back to the playground and stay out of the way. In case you two hadn't noticed, we're not getting a lot of respect around here. Can't we at least tell Balducci that we do stuff for ATAC? You know the rules. ATAC? American teens against crime. We do a lot of undercover work for them. Wonder Cop's probably never even been undercover. Joe, let it go. What'd Charlena have to say? She thinks Lori is faking this whole disappearance thing. She's not the only one. How can you say that? You heard Lori scream. Anybody can scream, Joe. Especially girls whose fathers have given them acting lessons along with everything else they've ever wanted. What about you, Nancy? What do you think? Hmm, well, I kind of agree with Frank. I kind of agree with Frank. You've got to be kidding. Hmm. Has anyone talked to the engineer? Not that I know of. Then I'm going to head up front and tell him what's happened. Maybe he knows something we don't. Good idea. In the meantime, we'll take another look around in here. Great. Catch you later. Okay. So many things at one time. Okay, I have a pencil. That's um, Joy's pencil from the Haunted Carousel. It's all chewed up and I still have it. Okay. Task list. Good. We need this. And the cell phone. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's call the engineer. Engineer, what do you want? Hello, I'm one of the passengers, and I just thought you should know that Laurie Gerard has disappeared. So? Mm. I just thought you might want to call the police or something. Hey, all I know is I take orders from Miss Gerard, okay? Right now, my orders are to get this train to Copper Gorge nonstop. And until Miss Gerard tells me otherwise, that's what I'm gonna do. But Lori may not even be on the train anymore. Look, Miss Gerard may not be a rocket scientist or anything, but even she knows better than to jump off a moving train. But now, if you'll excuse me, I got me a train to run. Yep, he doesn't care. Welp. You know, I, I'm, like, trying to read and catch up on the chat. I would have to agree, like, the way that the Hardy Boys looks in this game, I think is also my favorite. I definitely don't like them in Creature of Kapu Cave. I don't mind them in Midnight in Salem. They're, they're just very modernized. But I think this is, like, the picture of the Hardy Boys that I will forever have in my head. So... This is oh this is your this is your favorite interface of the games. Ah yeah, I like this interface too. Okay. Mhm. Mm what have you got? Do you think maybe one of Lori's other guests is in on her disappearance? It's certainly possible. From the way she talked, it didn't sound like she knew any of them. Maybe that's what she wanted us to think. Or maybe that's what one of them wanted her to think. Well, whether Lori disappeared by force or by choice, what we've got to do now is find her. Absolutely. See you later. You know where to find us. Oh my gosh, that's a great theory, Courtney. I did not know Gooba had um, that theory. That's amazing. And I can believe that too, because that would explain Secret of the Old Clock, why she goes back in time. That's awesome. It looks like there's something behind this painting, but I can't seem to move it. Sadie Crawford. Oh yeah, those are those tap shoes, huh? Okay. Flippy fins, freshly canned salmon, fresh from a hand from the deep. <laughs> oh man. You know, speaking of the Hardy Boys and like liking this, how they look here, um, have you guys ever played the actual Hardy Boys games that came out around that time? Oh, I forgot we we're in the middle yes. of talking. Um what are you working on? What are you on? working on? I'm writing my next book. I'm on a deadline, so until I write those two most wonderful of all three-letter words, the end, everywhere I go, my laptop goes, and every chance I get, I write. Hmm. Why do you think Lori invited you on this trip? 
No doubt because I'm such an authority on life in the Old West, and because I'm so good at using old information to unearth new information. My knack for research is... well, it's a gift. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? You know, the man who originally owned this train? Wealthy, imaginative, adventurous, stubborn, egocentric, and most importantly, he was smitten at the age of 35 by a young French woman named Camille Voulet, who died about a year after they were married. When did he buy this train? Sometime in the 1870s, he decided to seek his fortune out west, so he had this train custom-built so that he, and some years later his wife, could traverse the mountains and plains in relative comfort. So where did he meet Camille? Where did he meet Camille? I don't know that. The circumstances surrounding her passing are a bit of a mystery, too. All anyone knows for sure is that years after Camille's death, he showed up in Denver with a pouch full of gold nuggets and semi-precious stones, which he used to purchase mining supplies. He refused to say how he'd come by them, which of course led to speculation that he had found a fantastically rich vein somewhere. Although to this day, its existence remains unsubstantiated, and its location quite unknown. Well, I'll let you go. Let me know if you run across anything juicy. Oh, man. So the, the Hardy Boys games are rough, you say? I've never, ever played any of them. Or know anything about them. Ooh. Mm. Pretty. Looks like some kind of gemstone. Aha. It's a slider puzzle. Or a put it back together kind of puzzle. Can these, do these rotate or no? They have to, yeah? Oh, it says right click to rotate. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, that's how you do it, okay. Ah, okay, okay. So really, this one should probably be up here. They have spelling errors in them? In the games? Susie, uh, how are you? Hey, I shouted out your shop, Lemon Pepper Creations, at the beginning of the stream. I just wanted to let you know. How did tonight go with selling at the market? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I saw that. Uh, okay, so Gooba and Jetpack are going to be streaming one of the Hardy Boys games on Sunday. And I saw they, she uh, Jetpack had posted the... Uh, so that's so funny that they voice them. Cause doesn't that that doesn't that seem like so random? Like Okay, what's not right here? Oh, okay, this isn't right? I mean these need to switch. Ooh, yeah. Left pickaxe and lamp with buell for safekeeping. To open what's closed. Lead is the key. Or is it lead is the key? Isn't it kind of ironic that Nancy says that about lead and lead? And that is exact quote in Pol... Is it Polar Express? Yeah, Polar Express. With the train? Yeah, and they get a ticket and the guy's like puts LD and it ends up spelling lead. And they're like, lead. Lead, lead. <laughs> Better not mess with that puppy. This must have been the sleeping car. Ah oh, no! You only made one sale of three stickers. Oh man! Well, I hope you get them next time. Do you get those opportunities to go to sell often, or Tia? How are you? It's so good to have you on stream. I need four numbers oh. to unlock this, and there's what ten thousand possible combinations. <laughs> Guessing could take me a while. 
Pull the lever, crunk! <laughs> a tale of two dolls. Okay. Let me go ahead and get my, my notebook out. My Nancy notebook. Okay. Ill-tempered Edna could not get her way. She couldn't get Alice to come out and play. I can't. I'm too tired, is what Alice said. I just want to go straight back to bed. Edna angrily tried to make herself heard, but all that came out was one two-part word. Why, I'm not your mother, yawning Alice replied, till Edna the Terrible finally gave up and cried. <laughs> okay, so yawning Alice, right? Yawning Alice and then Edna the Terrible? Sleepy... Ride. I just remember we have to keep up with the names, so I'm going to try and do that early on. Oh, man. Oh, man. The aesthetic of the train is just so good. Look at that wallpaper. We would kill to have wallpaper like this right now. So good. So good. Hey, come on over here. Oh. Hi, you're that Nancy person. How you doing? John Gray. You look pretty busy. Right now I'm taking time-lapse electromagnetic readings and recording background noise. This was Camille's private car. If she had something to do with Lori's disappearance, analyzing these readings may give me a clue as to Lori's whereabouts. Are you saying that Camille's ghost kidnapped Lori? What to most people are ghosts are actually temporary distortions in local electromagnetic fields caused by the presence of residual psychic energy generated by the person or persons who frequented that particular locale. And that's my working theory, at least. It's a little hard to swallow. It's very interesting. That's very interesting. It's all very scientific. But the fact is, Lori's missing. And I, for one, am doing everything in my power to find her. The vibes I'm getting make me think she could be in serious trouble. Ah, uh, bye, Chaz. It was so good to have you. You have a great rest of your day. And um, hopefully, uh, yeah, Susie, when you go again next time, I hope you're able to sell more. And you know what? Sometimes with those events, you know, it just kind of takes a second to kind of get your name out there. And you have to kind of go a few times, I feel like. But um, I definitely believe you'll sell some more because you have really great stuff. So... You don't think Tino Balducci will be able to track her down? I doubt it. In fact, I kind of feel sorry for the guy. After catching those bank robbers, he can't just be a good cop anymore. He's got to be a great cop. Tough to perform under that kind of pressure. What's your opinion of Charlena Purcell? Charlena Purcell writes romance novels. End of comment. Is Lori a friend of yours? First time I met her was when I boarded this train with all the rest of you. I knew her by reputation, of course, like everyone else who reads the tabloids. It doesn't appear that anyone aboard this train is her friend. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't have any friends. Wouldn't be surprised. Maybe you can be too rich after all. Thanks for the chat. Goodbye. Well. Ooh, a slug. We the found a slug. Book of samplers. By Bernice Adelmeyer. Surely there is no greater joy for the 19th century woman, young or old, than to bring a piece of linen to life with needlepoint, requiring only needle, thread, care, and imagination. Oh, man. The word sampler comes from the Latin word exemplum, which means example, that which serves as a model. The best samplers not only allow their creators to recall what particular embroidery stitches look like when executed properly, but also demonstrate to the world their mastery of an important womanly skill. Indeed, many a gentleman's heads has been turned and many a marriage fortified by a well-crafted sampler. Oh man, this book. It is acceptable in these modern times for samplers to make many forms. One classic is the long and narrow band sampler, which features bands of flowery border designs as well as rows of numbers and the alphabet. Another classic is the spot sampler, a delightful display of randomly placed images or motifs. 
most mo Okay. So nowadays, these women to remember that nothing catches the eye like variety, nor holds the heart like a multi-talented seamstress. Oh, man. <laughs> Courtney says, surely there is no greater joy. <laughs> oh, man. The whole multi-talented seamstress um, flashback to uh, the game before this one where Nancy has to sew a dress and it goes swimmingly. That's all I could think about. <sighs> oh, yeah. I forgot we can play this game. Do we win something? This, this looks game? like some sort of game. No. Ah. Shoot. No. Ah. Okay, wait. Hold on. Let's see. So you really can't lose. Ah. Focus. Focus. Oh my gosh. Is it getting faster? Ugh. I did it. Okay. Well. Wonder what's in here. What did I win? Oh, this is the for the this is for the piano? Not the clock dress. Oh man. Baby, when I turned in that when I turned in that dress to uh, what's his name, Jim Archer, there were tears on that sucker, because that was the worst thing I've ever sewed. Teddy Everhart. Teddy Everhart. Who's that? Teddy Everhart. Thank you for giving the doll we call Teddy Everhart a home. Oh, so he's got it. So he must be wearing some plaid. Is that what it is? Like red and yellow plaid. Okay. <clears throat> Blood, sweat, and tears on that fabric. That's right. My fingerprints all over that dress. Oh, is this where we... Yeah, we put this here? Yeah, here we go. Oh! Don't do that, please! Those microphones I set up over there are very sensitive. Just about took out my eardrums. <laughs> my bad. You can play that thing when I'm done. I'll let you know when that is, alright? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Okay, so all I want to do is at some point in some game, I would love to have my picture in a game. I don't know if I have to win a contest for this or like if I have to cook like this amazing Nancy Drew cookie, but wouldn't it be just so cool to have your picture in a, in a game? It'd be so amazing. Looks like Camille was teaching oh. herself how to play the piano. Oh, okay, okay. Where's my phone? This phone. Oh, that is too zoomed in. I thought I could zoom more out. Okay. We'll come back to it. It's not even time for it anyways. Thomasina O'Neill. Thomas Cena O'Neill. Thomas O'Neill. Is this what is this like a a tie? A collar tie? <laughs> Tori music! Woot woot! Oh man. Yep, I'm gonna need help with that. Okay. It's locked. Hmm. Okay. Looks like some kind of sewing sampler. I wonder if there's a relationship between those symbols and those numbers. There's awful Ursula. She's the one that frowns. Oh, okay. So Owl is seven. Cherry is ten. I think that's about all. I wonder that we what's know. under here and what the deal is with those weird looking bolts. Hmm. Looks like I need a special tool. Well, we definitely don't have that. Hello? Nancy. <gasps> I forgot. Hey George, what's Best up? phone what's conversation up? ever. You're the one who's on the train with a bunch of famous people. You tell us. This is torture, Nancy. I'm dying of curiosity here. Best. Just calm down. Oh, like you're not just as curious as I am. 
she's the one who insisted we call you Nancy. Only because you're driving me crazy. I'm supposed to be helping her paint her room, but every other brush stroke, she's like, where do you think she is now? What do you think the Hardy boys are doing? Why do you think she hasn't called? What do you think Laurie Gerard is wearing? Oh, George, that is so not true. I could care less what Laurie Gerard is wearing. So come on, Nancy. You're on a train full of famous people bound for who knows where. So dish already, would ya? Bess, calm down. Look what you did. You got paint in my hair. I'm sorry. You know, actually, that looks kind of cool. Nice try, Bess. No, really. You're just saying that because you're afraid I'll bail and you'll wind up having to paint this dump all by yourself. George, I kid you not. You should seriously think about doing some major highlights in that color. What color is it? Adobe beige. Adobe beige. <laughs> nice try, Bess. <laughs> What's going on, man? That is by far one of my favorite Bess and George phone conversations. Our hostess has disappeared. I mean, the train went into a tunnel, everything went dark, and when the train came out of the tunnel, no Lori. She just disappeared. Publicity stunt. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. Remember the time she was allegedly kidnapped from her Vegas hotel room? Yeah, the guy across the hall just happened to have a camera and got it all on tape. It made the evening news in practically every city in the country. And then there was her daring escape the next morning. Only it turns out she faked the whole thing. Of course, she claims her ex-boyfriend faked it to get back at her. She thought she was really being kidnapped. Like anybody believes that. Sounds to me like somebody has been spending a lot of time reading the tabloids. George has. Very funny. So what else is going on? Okay, so you just want to say that I put the arranger on the oboe part of my arrangement as Adobe Beige. That is so good. That is so niche too. Like, I love that. I bet I don't know. I don't know if any of the people in the orchestra play the Nancy Drew games, but that that's so that's what amazing detail. Okay, the oboist was very confused. <laughs> Adobe do 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 mage. <laughs> oh man, I'd pay so much money to have my photo in the game. Oh, I know, it would just be so amazing. Like there you are for the rest of ever. Your photo is in an Nancy Drew video game that people will continue to replay and stream and post. It's so cool. When you get to play the piano later, just play DEAF since that's what you just tried to make John Gray. <sighs> Pretty much. Before she disappeared, Lori told us that the purpose of this train trip is to find out what happened to Jake Hurley, the train's original owner. Was he murdered or something? No one knows. He was married to a woman named Camille, but she died and he eventually vanished while mining for gold. His train was found abandoned in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada, with no one on board but his dead engineer. Mm, so spooky. spooky. Have any theories? Not yet, but the train is also rumored to be haunted by his dead wife. Hmm. So first Hurley's wife dies, then Hurley vanishes, then the engineer dies, then Lori vanishes. A pattern, maybe? Bess, do us all a favor and leave the detective work to Nancy, okay? Has either of you been to Copper Gorge, Colorado? Never heard of the place. Why? Well, that's where the train I'm on is headed. Apparently, Jake Hurley buried his wife Camille there after she died on the train. She died on the train? Ew, creepy. John Gray has set up a bunch of equipment in Camille's train car in hopes of documenting distortions in the electromagnetic field caused by her residual energy. Say what? He's looking for Camille's ghost. <laughs> Say Don't you what? Watch him on TV? Just because I watch him doesn't mean I understand him. Talk to you soon. Remember, when in doubt, call. Oh, so good. So natural. Such natural conversation. I'm on the job here, Junior. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Oh, just look at him. Just look at him just sitting there reading nothing. Hey, Nancy, right? That's right. Nancy Drew. Amateur detective, huh? You ever thought about becoming a real detective? You know, like me? I just realized that this this is the first person that has remembered Nancy's name. And it's Tino. <laughs> and it's Tino. Okay. Don't know how I feel about that one. You mean become a police detective? No, I never have. It's a great job, you know. I love it. You, uh, heard about those bank robberies I solved, right? 
I think he tells you about it no matter what, right? Oh, I'll just put yes. Yes, I sure did. Baffling case. Two-man team at 17 banks in three states in five days. FBI had no idea who the perps were. But after forcing their vehicle to a stop, confronting them, despite the fact that they were armed and giving chase, I single-handedly made the collar. And this is one of my, this, this whole game has such good quotes because like, I love that this is how Nancy can reply. I heard all they had was a plastic knife from a carry out chicken. <laughs> you heard wrong. <laughs> so you funny. See, Nancy, when somebody does something oh. really remarkable in this country, the first thing everybody else does is try to tear them down. Reporters, late night comedians, even some of my fellow officers, all have been mm. spreading vicious lies about me. Why? Because they've never done anything remarkable in their sorry little lives, and they're jealous. Anyway, you should look around in here. Lots of interesting stuff. This was Jake's private car, you know. Hmm. So, what do you think happened to Lori? Well, she could have been kidnapped. She could have been tossed off the train. She could be hiding from us. But I obviously won't know which until I've gathered all the facts. So, you're gathering facts? Of course. It may not look it because that's my style. I'm a low-key kind of guy. But hey, don't worry. I'll know the facts when I know the facts. The truth can't be rushed, you know. I'll know the facts when I know the facts. <laughs> Have you had a chance to talk to Charlena Purcell? Now, why would I want to do a thing like that? You don't like her? I can't stand those sappy books she writes. And seeing as I said as much during an interview on national TV once, it's a pretty safe bet she doesn't like me. Have you talked to John Gray? <laughs> the ghost guy? Total quack. Only reason I'd talk to him would be to arrest him for fraud. I understand that you found something on the floor in the dining car. Yeah, at uh, first I thought it was an old coin, but it uh, turned out to be some kind of slug. Do you think it had anything to do with Lori's disappearance? Nah. Probably been lying there for a hundred years. May have served a purpose back then, but now, worthless. May I see it? Sure. In fact, here. Keep it. Wear it around your neck. Or Wear it around that your way, neck. People ask you where you got it. Oh my you word. Can tell them Tino Balducci gave it to you. The Tino Balducci. This guy. This guy, he's so bold. I hate wearing around that around my neck. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what else can I do? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love Nancy so much. It's been great talking to you. Don't mention it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you for this slug, sir. Oh, man. Oh, I'm cracking up. That's too good. Okay, so yeah, we can't look at these books. No? Hmm, yeah. Camille with Hagger Anderson and Chantilly Hildegard. I'm gonna write that one down too. Uh, Camille with Hagger Anderson. He's in the overalls. And then Chantilly Hildegard. Uh, just... Yeah. Okay. Camille with Hager Anderson and Chantilly Hildegard. Oh, what a question, Tori. Oh my gosh. That should... Would you rather get a slug from Tino or a Tessera from Colin? Oh my... I don't know. I don't know if I could pick. You know what? Someone made a meme. I can't remember who it was that made this meme. And if you guys know, you can totally credit them in the comments. I'll give them credit. Like, I just cannot remember. But someone made a meme about... It was like eight-year-old me who didn't know that I had to, like, step back from the microscope. So I just I just let Colin keep showing me test ray after test ray. And the meme is that guy that's, like, crying and stuff. Oh, that's so funny. Because it's, it's so true. You don't know. Ah, gemstones. So what is your gemstone for your birth month? Mine is garnet. Right? Yeah, mine's garnet.
So that's how we know which gems we Looks need. Like an yeah. Old-fashioned cigar box. Wonder why it's locked. And what does AG mean? AG I means silver. In silver. I think, doesn't it? AG? Yeah, AG, look. Silver. Dude, I loved chemistry in high school. I loved memorizing this whole table. I thought that was so fun. Okay. So we don't have anything to go off of that. Oh, what's this? J.H. For Jake Hurley, obviously. Must be Jake's insignia. Hmm. Ah, oh, you have... Oh, you're a fellow January Garnet, too. Okay, cool. Okay, Amethyst. All right. Opal. Opal. Oh, Topaz. Wait, what's Topaz? Oh, November. Okay, okay. Aquamarine. Oh, okay. So, so cool. Oh. Pipes. Weird fun fact about me. I love these pipe puzzles. <laughs> I think they're so fun. Did we just solve that? There, all done. I think it's because Danger on Deception Island is where I started my love for pipe puzzles. Can I still recite it? Oh, absolutely not. That was so many years ago. Not at all. I actually don't remember too much from chemistry anymore because I never had to. I never had to know it for my what I was studying in uh, university, and so. Super sad because I loved chemistry. Gemstone. I loved it. Ah, some singing. Sandberger. Oh, that's another one of those dolls. Eliza Sandberger received of Jake Hurley for the price of three dollars and seventy-three cents. One Krollmeister doll with decorative red ribbon on the sixteenth day of June, eighteen hundred and eighty. What does it say? Oh, the red ribbon. Okay, so that's what she is. Red ribbon. Okay. So that's it, right? An old scale. Strange. It seems to be built into the wall. So I don't the think we have all the slugs. Like the saw in that sampler. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is where the math comes in. Okay, so basically we need the owl. Wait, did that work? No, you have to have owl and cherry. So I think we're going to need some more slugs first. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we have to do on the task list. Got to keep that thing updated. Got to check it off. Oh, uh, wait, what? June 16th is today? Whoa, weird. Uh... I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Note to self, when a task has been complete, check I'm it off. We did talk Jack, to them. Haven't done that yet. I haven't found Lori. Talk to Tino and see what he picked up with that. I'm done with that. Head toward the front of the train and see what I've restricted away with that. Figure out how you're supposed to move that painting. Can't check that off Don't know yet. that yet. Find out what the deal is with those colored blocks in the drawer in the sleeping car. Are you supposed to make a pattern with them? If so, what pattern? Finish that. To open the lock in the sleeping car, I need to dial in four numbers. Don't know what, though. Go to the piano. Can't do that yet. Find something that'll unscrew the strain. Figure out how to open that old cigar box. It must have something to do with the letters AG, but what? Connect the pipes. We did that. Finish that. Something tells me the scale that's built into the wall does more than just Haven't wave things. That. Hmm. Okay, so let's go back through. Oh, can I really? Okay, I'll go back. Let me just make sure I've talked with 
Frank and Joe real quick. Because I don't think I went back and never talked with them. What have you got? Oh wait, yes See I did. You soon. You better. Okay, okay. More questions? The others on the train, John Gray and that police detective, do you know them very well? I don't know them at all. Needless to say, I don't watch television, so I've never even seen Mr. Gray before. Although I do know that his profession, if you can call it that, is rife with crackpots. As for Mr. Bolton, <sighs> oh my gosh. from what I've read, his success... She's so snooty! Is ...less a matter of talent and more a matter of being in the right place at precisely the right time. Okay, and then... Do you think he's a good investigator? No. You and those two Boy Scouts you're with would make better detectives. Is that all, dear? Well, I'll let you go. My publisher thanks you. Mm. Okay, let me go back. I didn't realize that I could do it with just those two. I thought I had to have an extra one. Oh, she's she is just the worst, isn't she? All these big personalities on one train. Okay, so if that's the case... Oh, let me go back. So you have to equal the owl. And then... Okay. Or, um, oh, because both of them have to... Oh, oh, okay. That was so fast. I didn't know you could get back there so fast. Wow. You know, I'm, there was a comment earlier that had mentioned, and I missed it, talked about uh, one of the people that helped work on the design or something. I missed that comment. What, what were you saying earlier? Because I wanted to read that. This is just so beautiful. I want to be on this uh, train. Despite Camille, Camille burst here's the site of the crack which now traverses Naughty Tina's. Fa oh, there we go. Naughty Tina. Naughty Tina has a crack on her face. Tears which continued unmated. For, oh, I told her I'd order another. As soon as we reach Copper George, we'd be a citizen. Oh, okay. So that's just about another doll. Okay. Looks like to make this thing, whatever it is, I'm going to need a spyglass, a pickaxe, and a lamp. Citrine, amethyst, zircon, those are all gemstones, I think. Hmm. Oh, yeah, so, this is what we needed. What do all those colors have to do with silver? For the colored box. Let's write it down. Orange, blue, green, red, purple, yellow. Hey, Kalina, welcome to the stream. It's so good to have you. Yes, William Morris. Is that was that what you were saying, Pomport? Yeah, I wanted to look that up later. That's super cool. Um, ah, another slug. Okay, I think that was everything. So really, cause I, can we get back here? Looks like I need to enter oh. eight letters into this thing. The question is, which eight letters? So no. Hmm. Is this the code to the door? Oh. Oh, 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 that was so good. It's so good when you get multiple in a row. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. I'm wearing my Copper Gorge shirt that I got from Her Interactive today. Um, That's my, that's my uh, stream, stream apparel. Wait, what did I do? This one? This one. 
This one. This one. This one? Nope. Ah. Uh, hmm. This one. Oh, man. Okay, so it's gotta be this one down here, then. No, oh, we had one. One left. So, really, it's this one, this one. No way! Can you... Is it... Can you really find Lori that fast in the game? Lori? Oh, my gosh! I never thought you'd be the one to find me. No offense. Uh, Nadine? <laughs> Nancy. 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 My name's Dream. Nancy, everyone. Well, as you can see, I wasn't really spirited away by ghosts or anything. That bookshelf in the dining car, you step on this thing in the floor in there, and it slides open. I practiced mm. disappearing for weeks. Okay, no, I do, I do not remember. I just feel like this game, it took a lot longer to get to Lori, but that was so fast, I feel like. So yes, William Morris is a British arts and crafts designer, and you can still purchase his wallpaper today. Oh. Oh, yay. I remember having to re-illustrate that because I couldn't get the slurs file large enough for print. Oh, no way. Okay. Let's see. So it was all just for show. Was anyone else on the trip? Hmm. Was anyone else in on the trick? Just the engineer, and all he did was keep his mouth shut. See, here's the deal. My dad wound up with this train when he bought out Noram Shipping. They'd been storing it in this old warehouse outside St. Louis for so long that everybody had just forgotten about it. Anyway, after like mass begging on my part, dad had the train restored to working condition and got me an engineer and track permits and all that other stuff until <laughs> finally... Here we are, on our way to find out what happened to Jake Hurley. Uh, I think you were going to explain why you kidnapped yourself. Oh, right. Well, see, I was one of the first people in like a hundred years to set foot on this train, okay? Everything <laughs> okay. was just the way it was when Jake <laughs> disappeared. Except, I also found this. Ooh. It's a letter that Jake wrote in 1901 to his niece back east. He was real paranoid about claim jumpers, which is why he never told anyone where his mine was. But he was also afraid something would happen to him and no one would ever know where it was. So he wrote this letter to his only living relative, Ruth Kensington. Here, take it. You want me to have it? Why? Because you found me. See, in that letter, Jake tells Ruth that everything she needs to figure out where his mine is, is on this train. He also warns her that his wife's spirit is on the train too, which kind of creeps me out. But the thing is, to find Jake's lost mine, we need the train. How do you know this Ruth person didn't find the mine decades ago? Mostly because I found that letter in the wastebasket. It was like she'd gotten so ticked off trying to follow her nutty uncle's clues that she finally said to heck with the whole thing. What about the other people you invited on this trip? If you want oh, to I know, Pomport. Letter, it is ahead. so totally relaxing. We're going to Copper Gorge because that's where Jake buried Camille. So I figured his mine might be somewhere around there too. But if you think we need to go somewhere else, you just let me know and I'll have the engineer take us there. It's this game and um, any of the games that have like rain or what, like the Legend of the Crystal Skull. Those are the games that I feel like ambience. Oh, Danger on Deception Island has really good ambience. Man, those are really relaxing ones to listen to, if you ever wanted to relax to one. Hey, Daphne, welcome to the stream. Uh, what's your favorite fish? I'm a fan of the North American. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite fish. Hmm. I'll have to think on that. I don't know. And BRB doing Duolingo. What are you, oh, what are you doing? What kind of Duolingo? What language are you trying to learn, Mina? How come you didn't try to find the mine yourself? Yeah. How come you didn't try to find the mine yourself? Maybe I did. Or maybe I just thought letting other people try to find it would be a good excuse to throw a party. I like parties. How well <laughs> do you know your guests? Well, I don't know you or those Harvey guys at all. Hardy. Frank and Joe Hardy. 
Whatever. I didn't know John Gray before this either, but I love his show. And I figured he'd jump at the chance to investigate an honest-to-goodness haunted train. And now that someone has finally found me, I can finally go meet him for real. What about Tino Balducci? I met Tino right after he got famous for solving those robberies. Inviting him here for this was a no-brainer. I mean, what an awesome detective. And those piercing eyes of his? You just know his mind's in there going 90 miles an hour. How well do you know Charlena <laughs> Purcell? I just know her from her books, which are so good. In fact, I just started reading her latest one, The Moon Tells No Lies. Which is what she's reading See, right what now. What I really, really like to do is the write tells romance no novels. Everybody who knows me says I'd be really good at it. In fact, a while back, I sent Charlena some ideas, you know, just to see what she thought. And? She hated them. <laughs> we'll talk some more later. I'll be waiting. Oh, man. Hey, Lexi. This is your first game you ever beat. Oh, you truly think this is maybe your favorite game? It's a really good one. I love this one. Ah, Swedish. Fun. Favorite fish is a shark because it's my favorite animal. Oh, okay. Other than a dragon. Is that right? I know you love dragons. And you just bought tickets to do uh, Ride Thomas the Train next month. What? That's awesome. I didn't even know that existed. I did see some like back around Christmas time. Like I think it was in Texas. You could buy a ticket and go ride like a Polar Express type of. They'd like serve you hot chocolate dressed like from the movie. Can Locked, oh we can't open it. I wonder how you open it. I wonder oh, how you're supposed to get this open. All of it's locked. It's all locked. Looks like a dance floor maybe. Hmm. Oh, we should read what she gave us. The 3rd of November, 1901, from somewhere in Colorado. Dear Ruth, I know that we've never met, but now that your father, my estranged brother, is gone, you are my only living relative. I am writing to you to tell you about my mind before I, too, depart this earth, and its location is lost forever. I cannot tell you outright where it is, lest this epistle fall into the wrong hands. But with the information which follows, and with my train, which shall be yours upon my death, I promise that you'll be able to find it. First, you will need a map. To obtain it, know that my travels have taken me all over this great country, to towns which can be difficult to find, to Calico, Silverado, and Central City, to Dodge City, Virginia City, and Tombstone. To locate the mine on the map, you'll need my projector. When it comes to placing the stones, you'll need to ask someone who holds a warm place in my heart. I have stored his name accordingly. But to retrieve his name, you'll have to give the dolls an order. Oh, there's a lot this of instructions in this. Inside Camille's dancing shoes for the name of their maker and wearing the shoe. She has four words for you. Words which, when translated into numbers and used in combination, will help power my... But alas, she's taken them with her to her grave. So go to Copper Gorge, Colorado, and pay your respects, mm. and let some of her good old's wonderful things. Kindest regards, Jake Hurley. And she sure did let things happen to his train. She did not listen. Oh, man. Okay, Lexi says, I feel like the puzzles in this one, for whatever reason, are so creative, and I love how it all pieces together. This Nancy era is for sure my fave. Shadow Ranch, Blackmore, Secret Clock, Kapu, and Danger by Design. Perfection. Yeah, yeah. Like, there are, like, this era had some really, really good ones. And I, and I, and I agree with you. The puzzles do kind of, like, naturally unfold and somehow connect back in a lot of creative ways. It's not like the same puzzles over and over again. So, I get what you're saying. Is this open? Ah, it's open. Ah. I can use this to open that grate I saw in Camille's car. More pipes. Is there anything else? No? I wonder if this has something to do with that list of cities Jake mentioned in his letter to Ruth. No, I've never seen that reel. You did, did you dance the dance? What? I gotta see this. Okay. Calico... So, Calico. So we did that one. And then we gotta do Silverado. Silverado. Sil 
And then Central City. Sammy's amazing. Thank you so much for following along. I really appreciate it. Um, Central City? Or is it just Central? No, you do the city part too. Central City. Mm. Or we have... Oh, I don't know which one we're supposed to do next. Central City. Set, oh, is this it? C E C E N T R A L C I T Y. Oh, that was a weird one. And then Dodge City. D O D G E C I T Y. Virginia. Wait, how do I, wait, hold on. Virginia City? Virginia City. So V-I-R. So it needs to end somewhere like V- R I for Virginia. There it is, city. And then it should just be tombstone and whatever's left over, right? Yes. What do we have? We have Niversitaba. Niversitaba. Guess I'm done. Strange. All that's left is a jumble of letters. Yes, Nancy. But it's important to have that jumble of letters. That must be the projector Jake mentioned in his letter to Ruth. Oh, you know what? Do I need to do I need to go ahead and uh look for the shoes or Darn. The name of the shoes is so faded, I can't tell what it is. Hmm, maybe Bess and George can help me figure out who made them. Okay. We can at least go ahead and take a picture while we're here. Picture has been sent. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's go back. <clears throat> Long live Nazershaba. Nazershaba. Uh... Let's call Bess and George. It's actually, I want to hear what they got to say about all this. I want to hear about that Adobe Beige. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? Lori gave me a letter that Jake Hurley wrote to his niece, telling her how to find his gold mine. If Lori knows where the mine is, why doesn't she just make a beeline for it? Because apparently Jake was too paranoid to tell his niece outright where it was. <coughs> so he filled the letter with all these weird, obscure clues. I don't think Lori could make heads or tails of them. I know I barely can. Sounds like when he lost his wife, Jake may have lost a few marbles as well. I get the definite feeling Lori Gerard has a thing for Tino Balducci. I saw him on TV once. He is very cute. Lori thinks he's the world's greatest detective. And you don't? I think he thinks he is. I think he thinks he is. <laughs> I think he's famous Nancy's he so funny. Too hard on him. Just because he's good looking doesn't mean he can't also be smart. In fact, maybe Balducci tries to look incompetent on purpose. You know, to give the bad guys a false sense of security so it's easier to catch them. Ever think of that? No, Bess, I never did. Well, there you go. The name of the company that made Jake's wife's dancing shoes is too faded to read. But to find Jake's mine, I need to know what it is. Hey, I know what you can do. Take a picture of them with your cell phone. <laughs> we already sent it. Us, and we'll check them out for you. But I thought you guys had to paint Bess's room. Boring. Besides, we're going to have to take a break soon because we're almost out of paint. Probably because Bess has gotten more on me than she has on the wall. Anyway, send us a picture of the shoes via cell phone as soon as you can. Actually, I already sent you a picture of the shoes. Well then, hey, we're on it. Oh, you guys are the greatest. I know. Need anything else? I better go. Okay. Well, George, back to work. Gosh, their phone conversations are just always so natural wait can we call home in this one do they answer this is 
the Drew residence. Uh, Please leave a message at the beat. I don't need to talk to anyone at home. Why not? Give him an update. Okay, so <laughs> you think it's a good it's good that Bess isn't the detective. Um yeah, the only thing yeah, I think we need maybe another one. I think the other thing that we have to do is get the square and the duck, I think. And what else did we need? Well, it's the little lady detective. The little what lady you detective. I found Lori. She was hiding in the caboose. Oh, yeah? She disappeared because she wanted to see... Look at Nancy first, being messy. That clue behind. <laughs> that slug? I mean... So I messy, Nancy? Too. That's why I gave it to you. I mean, I could have found Lori no sweat. But I thought, hey, why not give somebody else a shot? And you came through. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> but look, from now on, if you come across anything that may have something to do with Jake hurling his mind, let me know, okay? But just so I can, you know, give you advice, help you sort things out. After all, the opportunity to work side by side with a world famous police detective doesn't come along every day, you know. Oh, I agree, Courtney. I love talking to Hannah on the phone. In what is it? Message in Haunted Mansion? But I would love to actually be able to talk to her, you know, in other games. She's just such a cozy phone character. How did you and Lori meet? What do you think happened to... What do you think happened? What do you think happened to Jake Hurley? He probably died trying to work that mine of his all by himself. But I'll let you in on a secret. I'm onto something that could crack this case wide open. What did you find? Sorry, can't go into detail. Let's just say that thanks to yours truly, what happened to Jake Hurley won't be a mystery much longer. Hmm. How did you and Lori meet? We met at a party in New York. Nice girl. Not a lot of stairs, but nice girl. <laughs> did you two go out? Did you two go out? Nope, no, never, never went out. Uh -uh, no. Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Helping people is what I'm all about. Mm, I'm telling you, I'm getting out of here. This guy, this guy. Okay. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, I didn't see this one. Sickly Sarah. Sickly got a Sarah. So new, it made one of her pretty green eyes turn blue. Is that all of it? Is that all I can do? Oh yeah, no, I totally understand that, Carly. I like, I better much prefer the voice for Hannah that's in these games, like Danger on Deception Island. Uh, just the voicemail that you hear, that I could feel is more for Hannah. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, for real. He's so condescending. Um. Oh that yeah. Tool I saw in this the caboose. Thing. I bet that's what you use to unscrew these bolts. Oh, they all turn. Okay, and then this one. Oh, one more. Oh, but it, oh, okay. This one. Which turns that one? Which turns this one? Which turns that one? More pipes to connect. Ah. I love the pipe puzzles. Boom, that one was so, that was so fast. If they bring Hannah back for Mystery of Seven Keys, I might cry. That would be amazing. Yes. If we could talk to Hannah. Like the good old days. 
I don't think Tina would have been able to pull off this elaborate ruse. I think Lori actually has a decent amount of smarts. Oh, absolutely. She's super, uh, she's way more clever than what she leads on, you know? I mean, she had to think all of this through in order for this to work. Okay, um, so we did the two pipes. What else did we have to do? There was another place, I think. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, this thing. Oh, okay, okay. We need we need the numbers for that, which we don't have. Hmm. I want to pull this so bad. Not mess with that puppy. But Nancy's trying to be good. Is this Jake and his wife? Hmm. Yes. From what I've read, Camille loved to sing and dance, even in death, apparently. Jake reportedly told people that after she died, he would sometimes see strange glowing lights outside the windows at night, bobbing gracefully alongside the train as if dancing with it. He said he found the sight very comforting. I suspect normal people would have found it terrifying. Hmm. Hey, Nancy, what's with the Cheshire Cat grin? You found Laura. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I haven't told him She's yet. She's holed up in the caboose. And as a reward for finding her, she let me have this. It's a letter from Jake to his niece in which he leaves clues telling her how to find his mine. Only the clues are extremely obtuse. You found Lori. You got the letter with all the clues. Guess you don't need us anymore. Oh, Joe, quit pouting. <laughs> Want any help? Are you kidding? <laughs> you bet I do. Joe was now upset. I love that Nancy also withholds this information until she gets to the Hardy Boys because she doesn't want to tell anyone else about it. Okay, Balduji wants me to share everything I find out about Jake Early with him. It stands to reason the only person that Jake. Mm, let's start with this one. Balducci wants me to share everything I find out about Jake Hurley with him. I'll bet he does. He just doesn't want you to show him up again. Yeah, he wants you to do all the legwork so at the last minute, bam, he can swoop in and grab all the credit. I wouldn't tell him a thing, man. So true. To get lost. Who was the one that said that Tino is, he's like the guy in the group project that like waits to the last minute, lets everyone else do the work, and then swoops in and takes all the credit? That's Tino Balducci. It stands to reason that the only person other than Jake who had to have known the location of Jake's mine was the engineer on Jake's train. Very true. Not necessarily. Jake might not have told him the exact location. Maybe he just had him drop him off somewhere nearby. Well, still, mm. we'd be way ahead of the game if we knew where that drop-off point was. That's true. If the engineer had any surviving relatives, we may be in luck. The guy died more than 100 years ago. How are we supposed to find out his name? Maybe Charlena What's-Her-Face could tell us how to go about it. Good idea, Frank. I'll ask her. I found a diagram for some kind of contraption that Jake designed, but to operate it, you need his pickaxe and some kind of lamp or lantern, which it looks like he gave to somebody named Buell. Buell? Joe, show her! Show her what? That old picture we found! Uh, okay. We found this on the bookshelf. See? Buell's oh, that surprise Buell's. and pawn shop. That's gotta be the same Buell Jake gave his axe and lantern to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a hundred years ago. And the guy was a pawnbroker, Frank. The stuff's probably long gone. Or maybe it's still somewhere in Copper Gorge. Well, that's where we're headed. So let's just hope for the best. Right. Talk to you later. Sounds good. Ah, oh, the way that it all unfolds is just so good. It's like, it's like watching a movie. A square and a duck. Now, where have I seen those before? It looks like this thing opens up, but how? <gasps> Pippin! Uh, hey, how are you doing, Pippin? Pippin is such a cute cat. I'm so glad that Pippin is here. <laughs> oh. oh, I didn't even look at this. Say, oh yeah, Sadie Crawford. That's another doll, right? Sadie Crawford. Is barefoot. That looks that looks about like we have every let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven dolls. I feel like that's pretty far along. No way. So Lori pushed <gasps> that button, slid the shelves open further, squeezed through, and disappeared. Very clever. I don't think I've ever done that in this game. That is so cool. So wait, where does it go? Goes through, I guess, to this cart over here? To this part? Interesting. I've I don't think I've ever done that. Can you only do it that one time? 
Now you can keep so doing it. So Lori pushed that huh. button, slid the shelves open further, squeezed through, and disappeared. Very clever. I've never seen. You guys have never seen it either. Oh my gosh! Did we just discover this together? I'm so dead. I didn't know. I didn't know these things existed. See, and this is why we replay because you always can learn new things and find new adventures. Oh, so stinking cool. Well, that's cool that they followed through with what Lori said. Yes. I found Lori. She's in the caboose. You were right. She disappeared because she wanted to see which of us would find her first. And you won. Congratulations. Um, your mind is blown. You've played it so many times. Oh, man. I'm so excited. That was so, that was great. Oh, that was, oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Did you know that Lori wants to be a romance novelist? <sighs> Doesn't everyone. <laughs> Have you discussed any ideas with her? Have you discussed any of her ideas with her? No. Could we please talk about something a little more pleasant? How would I go about finding out the name of Jake's train engineer? Just, so, if you're smart, just a ray of sunshine. Me. And because my work is going surprisingly well, during my next break, I'll log on to my archives at home and see what I can turn up. That'd be great. Thank you. Whoever invented the cellular modem, that's whom you should thank, dear. I should get going. All right, then. You discovered it a couple replays ago. No way. Yeah, like that was... I've never seen that before. Charlie says, I always wish I could have gone into that secret passageway. Oh, I know. And hey, Charlie, what's up? Yeah, that would have been really cool. Because I want to know where... I'm going to... I'm literally going to look at it again. Because I... Be how Lori disappeared. I've literally never seen this before. Huh. I'm just so kind of... I'm just a little flabbergasted right now. That is so stinking cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go on back to the train. Back of the train. So we have the letter. What is this? Oh, that's the other thing. Okay. Um. Oh, and let's check off some task lists as well. Fine, Lori. Done. I'm done with that. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. Find something... Oh, did we haven't opened up the um, AG the silver thing with the colors? Oh yeah, is it the next one? Yeah, this one. We gotta unlock this. Okay, so I wrote it down. It is orange, blue, green, red, purple, yellow. Oh. Oh. Wilson Carbide and Acetylene Works. Ooh. I do not believe my eyes can read this. It's cursive font. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, I was thinking that too, though, Amina. Because, like, let's see. The, the, the time where the lights went off was probably about what? She screams. One, two, three. What was, like, what? Maybe six, seven seconds? I mean, she honestly could have just cut the lights off and just been like, scream. It just ran right out the thing, like you said. Okay. Dear Jake, I have sent you two lamps, which you should receive by the end of the month. When you get them, simply place carbide in the lower chamber, water in the upper chamber, then use the built-in flint lighter to ignite the jet of gas, which results... As you'll see, the carbide lamp is an exceedingly practical device, especially for people in your dark and dangerous line of work. With that, you, or I had, invent, can't read it. In your last letter, you sounded quite dis 
despondent, old chum. I suppose this is understandable in view of your failure to strike it rich, but I am living proof of how quickly misfortune can turn into good fortune. Little did I suspect five years ago that my attempt to produce aluminum would instead produce calcium carbide, or that calcium carbide would, when placed in water, would release acetylene. Yet suddenly, I was the surprised but happy owner of the patent for an expensive way of manufacturing an extremely flammable gas. Just as I became wealthy when I sold that patent, I have no doubt that you too will someday be Art's handsomely friend, Thomas Wilson. rewarded for your efforts. Continue to keep your uh, me apprised of your adventures, dear friend, and never ever give up. Okay, Thomas Wilson. Looks like a pattern for some kind of dance step. Ha ha ha, Maybe it's I the dance. Okay, get your tap shoes on, everyone. It's time to go dancing. Oh my gosh, like that was that was hard on my eyes. True. Like my eyes are they're tearing up. Like I was really straining to read. It was so hard. That square and that duck look very familiar. Oh yeah, that's for this. Yeah, I need to know. Well, when we go back down there, I'll look because I don't remember what the numbers were for them. Professor Hotchkiss, ahoy! Glad I haven't missed the stream. It's so so good to have you. Whoa! Oh, oh. I somebody wasn't... must have thrown the emergency brake. I'm so not ready for that. The question is, did somebody throw the brake or something? Oh, Joe, Shit. now you sound like Lori. Hey, mm -mm. I was the first one on the scene, and I saw no one. God, that, re that really that jolted me back. That scared me. Um, who, what did the engineer what say? What did the engineer say? He said the train could have derailed. He reset the brake, muttered a few choice words, then headed back to the engine just as you and Lori showed up. Everybody was there except Charlena. I don't think she left her laptop the whole time. Hmm... Do you think she could have thrown the brake and snuck back to her laptop without your seeing her? Not likely, but possible, I guess. The question is, why? What did she or anybody else stand to gain by stopping the train? Answer? It's true. Nothing, which is why I think we should at least consider the possibility that something less human in nature <coughs> may be at work here. Ah, Joe. Hmm. Do you have a theory as to who pulled the glory? So that leaves those two friends of yours, Mr. Gray and Mr. Balducci. What do you think their motive was? I don't know about your friends, but perhaps those other two simply thought it would be fun. Boys will be boys. Were you able to find the name of Jake's train engineer? I came across three references to the fact that Jake had an engineer. He tells his niece how to find his lost mine. No thank you. I happily no, leave thank it to you. you to try to solve the mystery of his disappearance. You can afford to look foolish, dear. I can't. Aren't you even going to try finding out what happened to Jake Hurley? No time. The only reason I haven't insisted that Lori release me from all the silliness is there's always the possibility that what happened to him has the makings of a bestseller. Although I highly doubt it. Why are you so sure that Jake's story wouldn't make a bestseller? His story is an all too common one. A man wanders off into the desert in search of gold and never return natives. But why was his train found out in the middle of nowhere with just the dead engineer on board? That does make the story guide. And they were in the mountains. Jake no doubt kept her body on the train for months before he buried her, which is rather delicious in a morbid sort of way. <laughs> I should get going. The, All right. the way she speaks. <laughs> okay. There's a Tumblr account. Um, wait, hold on. I'm actually going to go back because I want to talk about this. There is a Tumblr account, and I can't remember what it's called, but basically what they do is they find the artwork that was used and hung everywhere in all the nancy drew games and they like post about where that art comes from and it's so amazing to see the art like full res like who actually painted it what era it comes from what year man i wish i could remember what that tumblr account was called okay so what's next yeah you love that account mina it's the best best ever so what am I what am I lacking here? Oh, I should probably talk to him. What's up? 
Mm, you making any progress here? I found Lori safe and sound in the caboose, so I guess those vibes you got about her being in serious trouble were wrong. Strange. My vibes are never wrong. What's even stranger is, I'm still getting them. So maybe they're not about Lori. Maybe they're about you. Oh, I don't remember. Mina, do you know what the name is? I'd have to, I'd, if anything, I'd have to like go back and like do some searching. But I remember they had posted one time about all the art that you can find in Curse of Blackmore Manor. Oh my gosh. All those portraits of uh, uh, some of the people and I mean, just stuff from Secret of the Old Clock. Oh, so good. So good. You're trying to find it? Okay, good. Me? I'm not in any trouble. Trust me. Either you or Lori is, or soon will be, in big trouble. Mm, could you be more specific? Could you be more specific? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Hmm. So you making any progress? So are you making any progress in here? Oh yeah. Not only am I getting some real unusual EMRs, that's electromagnetic readings, but take a look at this. <gasps> You've got something? I set up a camera and took some time lapse <laughs> photos. Sometimes it's I was like a room, smudge. I wasn't, but like a glare from the light. I managed to get a shot of Camille. Where? You don't mean that little blob, do you? Yep, that's Camille. Okay. Oh my gosh. You're skeptical. That's cool. Just remember, the key word when it comes to ghostly phenomena is energy. That blob is the result of Camille's residual life force, spirit, if you will reacting with the chemicals in the photographic paper. Couldn't it just be a flaw in the photographic paper? Okay, it could be that too, but it's not. Trust me. I'll let you get back to work. Pleasure talking to you. <laughs> oh, he's such a character. Okay, so we talked to him. Hmm. Who else do we need to talk to? Probably Tino Balducci, right? Glad you dropped in. Lori told me she'd given you a letter from Jake Hurley that says how to find his mind. That's right. You can read it if you want. Lori should have given that to me. I mean, I'm the trained professional around here. Let me take a look. I've seen enough. Two words. Use less. Those are just the rantings of a guy who spent way too much of his life swirling mud around in pans under the hot sun. Five star nut job. You don't think there's anything helpful in there? Nada. Did you find any fingerprints on the emergency brake handle? None that were any help, thanks to Casey Jones up there. I told the old geezer not to touch anything, but he went and got his big, fat, oily paw prints all over the place. If we didn't need him to drive the train, I'd charge him with obstruction of justice. So, you have no idea who threw the brake? Whoa, I didn't say that. As a matter of fact, I found this. Probably fell out of the perp's pocket when he was yanking hmm. on the handle. Looks like some kind of thermometer. Yeah, like the kind a certain ghost hunter uses on that bogus show of his. You think John Gray threw the brake? But why would he do that? Because they're thinking about axing his show, that's why. I checked with this buddy of mine in L.A. Gray's got to come up with something real big real soon. Or he's toast. And you can't get much bigger than a train with a spooky past that's prone to strange accidents. Now, can you? Who else have you told about this? All in due time. I always like to get my ducks in a row before I make an arrest. But couldn't someone else have dropped that thermometer? Please. Who's the top cop here, huh? Who's the world famous <laughs> detective? You. Oh, he's so. Doing, oh, he's just so Trying much. To publicity. That's exactly what I'm gonna give him. He just really I thinks he is the stuff. Time. Don't mention it. <laughs> and I think that's so funny. <laughs> oh, you're an art historian. That's amazing. I love that Tumblr account. I do too. It's amazing. Okay, let's call uh, Bess and George and see if they found the name. Uh, 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 found the name of the person that wears the shoes. Hello? Me again. Just checking to see whether you were able to find <gasps> out the it. name of those dancing shoes yet. Your wish is our command, but hang on to your hat. Oh my gosh, it's so long. Mouthful. The shoes 
were made by Chaussette Chateaillon, C-H-A-U-S-S-E-T-T-E-S-C-H-A-T-O-Y-A-N-T-E-S. That's French for shimmering socks. Apparently, if you were in the dance Ooh. in the 1970s, that was the company to get your shoes from. Chaussette Chateaillon. Got it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for letting us help. Tino Balducci definitely has a thing for Lori Gerard. So there's some kind of mutual attraction thing going on between them? Something's going on between them. I'm not really sure what. Well, find out. I mean, that's a mystery worth pursuing. To heck with this Jake Hurley stuff. <laughs> Bess just Gossip wants to know the drama. She just wants yeah. to know the tea. Oh, Goobin Jetpack, how are you? It's so good to have you. Hey, earlier I was just telling everyone that you're streaming the Hardy Boys game Sunday. Because we were talking about the Hardy Boys games. So I'm like so excited about it. Oh, man. Oh, I love Bess, too. She's just so good. Catch you later. Remember, when in doubt, call. Okay, okay. Bess just wants the tea. That's all she wants is the tea. Oh, she really is thread and needlefish. So good. Did I? Oh, we can put the. What did I write that down earlier? Neversa de ba. I think this is where it goes. It's where we got the other thing in. Never. Never. T. B. And this should just be. Oh! Oh! oh, this is the map. This is it right here. Oh. Jake's mind must be somewhere on this map, but where? Man, that's still cool. <laughs> you played the first minute on your computer to make sure it works and it's something else. Oh, I can't wait. Is it one? It's just going to be like a really chaotic game. Cause that's what, that's, that's the vibe everyone was giving me in the chat. There were some people that have actually played it in the chat and they were like, Oh, it's something. <laughs> so first of all, are you saying that I can do this dance right now? Oh, Oh, Where's the dance? Hold on. I gotta have a picture of this. Where? Let me get my good old strategy guidebook out. Because I think that. Yeah, I would say I think they have the picture in the strategy guide. Oh my gosh, can I even read this? One, two. Okay, I think I can read it. All right, here we go. Me reading the tiniest picture ever. So, one. Uh, this goes all the way up here, two. Man, I am tap dancing away. And then this would be four. Then five. Six. Seven, eight, and I think it's like nine, ten. Oh, that was it. That was it. <gasps> oh. oh, that is so pretty. Guess Camille liked to collect dolls. Okay. Jetpack. You're pretty sure you drew the whole grid out on your notes. It's so helpful when Nancy has a cell phone that you can just like take pictures of what you need and go back to it later. But this cell phone doesn't have zoom yet because we haven't gotten to that point yet. That's We still got our flip phone right now. Oh. You want me to choreograph something like this, uh, Hotchkiss? Okay, so I'm pretty sure we would just put the dolls in the order that it spells out the uh, name, right? Ch Ch 
Chosatusis? Chotoyas? I can't. I don't know if I can say that though. So the first one is CH. And. Oh no. Which one? Blonde wearing a dress? Is it this one? Oh, this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the first one, which is CH. The next one should be AU, which would be Awful Ursula. She's the one that's frowning. Which one's Awful Ursula? Is it that one? No. Which one's Awful Ursula? Mama. No. I honestly can't tell which one's Awful Ursula. Okay, let me come back to Awful Ursula because I have no idea. And then SS is Sickly Sarah. She's the one that has the different colored eyes. This one. Yeah, so she goes there. Oh, oh, really? So you want me to do the dance, and then you want me to also do the rap, the secrets can kill rap? I think I can do that. I think I can do that, and you know, ah, oh, Mina found the Tumblr account. Okay, drop it in the drop it in the uh, chat, so we can all go visit this amazing Tumblr account. And then the X one is E.T. E.T. Phone home. That's the one that cried. Um, couldn't that just be E.T.? T.E. is the one that wore plaid. Teddy. So he goes there. And then it's SC, which is the one that's barefoot because she doesn't have any shoes on. That's Sadie Crawford. It's barefoot. Okay. And then it's HA, which is the one wearing the overalls. Um... T-O. This is the one that should be wearing uh, whatever that tie or oh, the tie or the collar is. This is awful, Ursula. Ah, uh, yeah, you know you have a great rest of your night. Hope you get some good rest tonight, Courtney. Um, but yeah, I'll upload this as a playthrough later on if you'd like to catch it. But yeah, thanks so much for hopping on. Okay, you said that... Which one was the red one? She, awful, awful Ursula. So you're saying this one is the one. Okay, we did this one. H-A-T-O... T-O, so someone goes there. Okay, and after T-O, it's Y-A, which is the one that's sleepy. After T-O, it's... W no, after Y-A, it's N-T, which is the one that has the cracked face. Okay, so the only one... any reason to stop the train but Camille she doesn't want us to find Jake's mine so she's going to do whatever she can to keep its location a secret did you see something well no but I'll tell you what your friend that Jim Harley guy not <laughs> Jim Joe Joe Hardy yeah well he thinks it's Camille too he just doesn't have the guts to say so okay 
If you're watching this later as a playthrough and you want to know what that Tumblr account is with the um, all of the art that's ever been in Nancy Drew games, it is called Art. I knew it was something general, but I just couldn't pin it. Art of Nancy Drew on Tumblr. Thank you so much, Mina, for finding that. They go through and they will find the actual paintings and art. Like, okay, like for example, you see the two pieces of art in the back? That's actual art. And they will go and find it and then post this really beautiful, like very high res image of it and be like, you recognize this art from Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon? And they'll give you like the whole history of it. It is so awesome. So, so awesome. I hear that you and Tino used to be an item. I hear that Tino and you used to be an item. How did you know that? I'm a good detective, remember? We went out a couple of times, yeah. As for why we stopped going out, you'd have to ask him. Bye. Oh. I'll be waiting. Oh. Okay, so we've officially solved... That would have been great if we could have turned on some music. We have the map already, and we've According already... That diagram I found, those six gemstones are supposed to go in these six holders. But I have no idea which one goes where. Oh, yeah. Oh, we should probably write that down. Let me write that down. Let's see. So we have a starfish. And we have... What is this? Like an, like an eagle, maybe? A bird claw or something? Then we have a fin. This is where a gemstone goes. We have a beak. And we have an octopus. Or a squid. Whichever one. Oh, and a horse. Was that all of them? Yeah. This is one of your favorite puzzles? Oh, it is a really good puzzle. I like how it's got multiple parts, so you really have to kind of like dig deep. Oh, we can do this too. But I need to go see what, how much do uh, the square and the duck weigh? Like what's their number? What's their weight value? So the duck is one, and the square is four. Huh. Okay, it is time to math. My brain may need assistance. All right, let's see. So do you have to, because these two are lit up, do you have to get back up to there? Like, this is seven, this is plus seven. So plus seven. And the three is negative four. But if you do eight, you get four. Okay, that's one. And then we need to get to one. So... What's... What's... How's this... Oh, you can... Oh, because there's five slugs total. You can only do it in four slugs. Mm. Let's see, how would we get to one with that? Where's a horse's hawk? <laughs> oh man. That is like forever. That is like forever ingrained in my brain. <laughs> All the things that Tex does. Oh, light up. Oh, yeah, no worries, Professor Hotchkiss. I hope you have a great rest of your night. and Get some good sleep. Oh, thank you. I will always take the drumsticks. <laughs> oh, no, wait, what were you saying? Light up the square in three slugs. Light up the duck in four. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 
Okay, so if we... That goes backwards. That's way too much. But can we... No, no, no. Okay, so we need to get up to just one. Oh no. Yeah, that's that's not enough. <laughs> oh yeah, no worries. You have a great sleep as well, Susie, Susanna. <laughs> oh, I did. As soon as I read it, I was like, oh, no bad memories of me falling off the horse because I didn't put my saddle and I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> oh, I need to save the three. Okay. So can I save the three? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So save the three. Because if I put one and two, or if I put one and then two, no, that's ten. Oh my gosh. It's at negative four. Yeah, no, that's not it. If we take the 7 off, though, it's like 11. No, nope, 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 nope. Oh, that's 2. Wait a second. No, no, no. Oh, uh, yeah. You have to use the three. Wait, you have to use the three to get to the one from the four? Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you, Jordan. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. You have to use the three to get to the one from the four. So like on this side, maybe? Oh my gosh, this is where my brain just doesn't work because me and math just don't go together. Okay, so we have four and we need to get to one. So basically we have this three, but does it go? Can we? With oh, the yeah. In the dining car. Brr, brain power for math. <laughs> no, yeah, no, that was good. Thank you. So just so you know, anytime there is, <laughs> and Tori knows this, anytime there's math or if there's an instrument that has to be played, I'm probably not the best one for it. <laughs> and funny enough, this game has both a piano and math. <sighs> Give me that gemstone. So wait, where do I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta open the cart. Oh, let's go see what we unlocked. What did we unlock? Going on a mission to find out what we just unlocked. Oh. James Thurston. I hereby agree to pay James Thurston the sum of $9 a week plus room and board in return for his services at the engineer of my train. Hmm. Jake Hurley, May 23rd. Is there anything else? That's it? That's all we get? Okay. Oh, oh. Nancy, you missed it. Missed what? The argument of the century. Joe, 
he's exaggerating. Oh, come on. You heard him. They were ready to tear each other to shreds. Ooh, Who? drama. Charlene and Lori. All we heard was the tail end of it. And unfortunately, we really couldn't make out what they were saying. So you don't know what they were arguing about? No. But whatever it was, both of them were absolutely out of their minds livid. Ooh. It would probably be a good idea to find out why. Let me look into it. I'll talk to you later, okay? You know where to find us. And then I'm going to call Bess and give her the whole tea. Oh, you have a math degree? Oh, good. This is good, Mina. This is good. Because I... Like, math for me is... Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Michelle, for following along. I really appreciate it. Do you... Carter, do you still remember where C4 is on a piano? Oh, Tori. Tori, Tori, Tori. <laughs> I know I will say I did learn a lot that one stream with Waverly because I had I learned so much about like the octaves and everything and I felt so amazing that I learned that <laughs> it was so rewarding what up More girl questions? what you doing fighting with Lori what were you and Lori arguing about earlier today Lori and I we weren't arguing. We were simply discussing a topic about which both of us are passionate. That's all. You weren't angry? You weren't angry? No. And even if we were, that's really none of your business. No. I know that sounds harsh, but really, Nancy, eavesdropping is so tacky. No! Actually, it was Frank and Joe Hardy who overheard you. They said I should talk to you before they gave me the drama the details, but since you obviously don't want to tell me your side of the is story, she, I'll just is she really calling that. me tacky? No, you don't have to do that. I mean, the storyline that Lori okay. submitted to me found its way into my last book, Sister. despite the fact that she never received compensation for it. She's reading the book now, and when she got to that part, she freaked. Wow. Sis, homegirl is calling me tacky. I'm shocked and appalled. You stole one of her ideas. You're sending me unsolicited material, but technically, yes. Conscience and who knows? She could wind up being a star. I mean, she is blonde. I'll let you get back to your writing. Remember, if it's juicy, I want to know about it. I bet you do. The only game where I feel like the people are meaner to Nancy than the... Then this one is the resort, the do the dossier resort game. I've never played those before. Are they so? Are they mean? Are they mean in that one too? Because they're pretty mean in this one. She's like call me tacky. This one. She's like call me tacky. Poor Nancy though. She does get a lot of. Uh, she gets a lot of hate from people sometimes. <laughs> like it's like the uh, time in the uh, secret of the old clock where that uh, lady. What was her name with the with the bridge cards? And she's all like. And Nancy, that dress you're wearing is, um, what did she say? What did she say? No, that's all she says. I think she says, that, and that dress you're wearing, um, yeah. I have people coming over. She turns like, shove her out. Nancy's like, I like this dress. It's flouncy. Oh, so they're like super needy and stuff. Mrs. Sheldon, Yes. Yeah, Mrs. Sheldon. Oh, man, Mrs. Sheldon with her beef stroganoff. Mm. Wait, what did we do? Oh, we should probably check some more stuff off because I feel like we did a lot. Still have to do that. Oh, yeah. To open the lock in the sleeping car. Check that off yet. Go to the piano. Can't do that. Find something that'll unscrew. Did that. Finish that. I'm done with that. Finish that. Keep your eyes peeled for more of those slugs. Still have to do that. Collect all the items. Don't have that. Read the letter that Lori gave you. Finish that. I have to find out who made Camille's dancing shoes. I'm done with that. Tell Frank and Joe Hardy that Jake Hurley apparently left. Check. I'm done with that. Fin I'm done with that. I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I still have to do that. Find out the gemstones that were yeah okay. Still have to do that. See if you can discover who threw the registry. Can't more. check that off yet. I have strong grip at the moment. I'm done with that. I'm still. Wow, to do we just checked off a bunch. Hey, glad you stopped in. You gotta listen to this. What, what you got? got? 
I put this digital recorder in the corner where Camille showed up in that picture and turned it on so it would just keep recording. Now when you play it back at normal volume, all you hear is background noise. <laughs> yes. The signal through a filter or two. Oh, I could fall asleep to that white noise. <clears throat> hear that? I hear something. Here's like a noise that machine maker. Like a Bring it to Not me so I can fall asleep. Camille. So be careful what you say. No, I'm dead. You're so she's right. Fascinating. Margarita, she's all like, that dress, you should change it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <clears throat> that's too funny. And that is and that, and that is true. That is true. You can make Nancy wear some pretty uh uh odd odd combination things. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Izzy and Waverly bullying Nancy for having red hair. It's so true. People are so mean to Nancy. Are you by any chance missing a small digital thermometer? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. When I went through the box I'd packed them in, that one over there, I came up one short. I was hoping to set up at least six in here so I could check for cold spots. How did you know I was missing one? Because hmm? Tino Balducci found it by the emergency brake handle when he was dusting it for fingerprints. And now he thinks you're the one who pulled it. That's ridiculous. I didn't have any reason to pull the emergency brake. Have you been in this room the whole time you've been on the train? Of course not. I made a couple of trips to my compartment in the sleeping car to get more equipment. But did I get an overpowering urge to pull the emergency brake while I was there? No. <coughs> Any truth to the rumor that your show's about to be canceled? Newsflash, my show was canceled. Happened last night. But what nobody oh. knows yet is that it's been picked up by a major TV network. Not only am I still on the air, but I'm sitting prettier than ever. <laughs> Any other questions? Well, I'll catch you later. <laughs> Goodbye. He said, Gooba and Jetpack get on making a John Gray ambience video. Yes. <laughs> That would be amazing. Can you just imagine? And it is literally just white noise to fall asleep to. <laughs> Unpopular opinion? Nancy has some meanness coming to her since she goes around un un untactfully asking about dead guinea pigs and mothers. Oh, now that's the one. Oh, that's the one right there. She's like, Jane, is this your guinea pig? And, and... And uh, she's like, yeah, but she died. And she's like, when? When? Like, she's happy about it. Brenda! Brenda! How are you? It's so good to have you on the stream. You just get off work? <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, so where are, like, what's next here? Tell Frank and Joe. Oh, yeah, I got to tell them about the engineer, huh? Okay, so uh, I think the only gemstone we have. Oh, look! Just like the stuff John Gray has his thermometers packed in. Ooh, you in trouble? What's going on? You're the one that pulled that emergency brake. You're the one who pulled that emergency brake, aren't you? <laughs> Me? <laughs> what are you joking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did it. You stole one of John Gray's thermometers and planted it at the scene. You're just some teenage nobody. I don't have to listen to this. You're right, you don't. Neither do the other passengers. But unless you give oh. them to, I think I'll tell them anyway. Nancy's so Look, savage! Maybe I was a little hasty, pointing a finger at the ghost guy like that. Maybe all those lies people have been spreading are starting to get to me. Maybe I thought it would help if I got a little positive press by solving a crime aboard a haunted train. Mm -hmm. Maybe I apologize. And, uh, Maybe you can see fit not to let any of this go beyond this room. Well, no harm done, I guess. Oh, Great. Nancy. Well, what else can I do for you? Mm. How come you told me you and Lori never went out, and she told me you did? Don't you ever stop asking questions? Mm, when people start answering them honestly, I, oh man, she's so savage right now. She's just really telling it like it is. Um, yeah. When people start answering them honestly, I do. <sighs> I dumped her, okay? I'm not proud of what I did. I'm not happy about what I did. But it's done. It's over. Now let's drop it. 
oh look at look at this like she this is this is classic nancy right here where she's like hmm guess i'll just have to go talk to someone else to get the answers that i need guess i'll just have to go talk to Lori again you are incredibly irritating you know that <laughs> i dumped her because <laughs> because people said going out with her would make me look bad oh that's too joke, funny no one took her seriously Ugh. said if i started hanging with her no one would take me seriously so i stopped calling <laughs> You are incredibly irritating. <laughs> uh, but you didn't stop caring. Hmm. You should tell Did Lori. Did you ever tell Lori any of this? No. Now take a powder. I don't feel like talking anymore. Wow. Take a powder, he says. Oh. Carbide. Just what I need to make that lamp I found work. Sweet. And that's it, right? That's all I have to get from here? Oh yeah, this thing. That could be one of the gems I need. Maybe Tina will let me take a closer look. Hey, I finished my stream a bit ago. I hope yours is going well. I have a headache, so I ended it early. Uh Oh, well, thanks, Indie Crafts, but um, I hope you feel better soon. Uh, you know, it's all, you're going to close your eyes and listen to an audiobook. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to do something kind of like destimulating so that way your headache will go away. And drink some water. Drink some water. Sometimes it helps. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, and we still need the... Oh, so no, we need six gems. Okay. Okay. Let's go talk to Lori and see what she has to say about this tea fight. Yeah, now this is when Nancy's ruthlessness works. It is, though. It's so good. All right, let's talk to her. Yes? Oh, she had nothing to say? To work. You go, girl. Huh. Really thought she was going to talk about Charlena. Okay. All right, now let's call Bess and George again. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? Ooh, yeah, okay, let's see. Apparently Tino and Lori went out a couple times, but he broke it Apparently, off. Apparently Tino and Lori went out a couple of times, but he broke it off. Why'd he break it off? Because everybody told him dating her would hurt his credibility. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's cool that Balducci lets other people tell him who to date? No, that the three of us know something that like maybe four other people in the whole country knows. You scoop the tabloids, Nancy. <laughs> yes, calm down. You're slopping paint all over the phone. Oh no, it still works, doesn't it? Hello, Nancy? You still there? Hello? Yes, Bess, I'm still here. Oh, thank goodness. So what other yummy things have you found out? Oh, I love Bess. Get this. It turns out that Tino Balducci pulled the emergency break. Balducci did it? He framed John Gray so he could arrest him and get some positive press for himself. I think it finally dawned on him that he's not the great detective everyone thinks he is. And probably never will be. How pathetic can you get? Cute and pathetic. Just my type. John Gray claims to have Camille's voice on tape. Really? Did you hear it? I heard a woman singing, but it was very faint. You heard an actual ghost? Bess, whatever I heard was barely audible. For all I know, it could have been a voice off the radio or something. Did the real Camille like to sing? According to Charlena, she did. Well, there you go. You heard a ghost. Oh, Bess, you are so gullible. Open my Gullible. <laughs> uh, Charlena and Lori had this big, huge argument, and you'll never guess why. Charlena and Lori had this big, huge Oh, this is T right here. This is the T. Uh, Lori called Charlena a hack. No. Uh, Charlena called Lori an airhead. No. Um, Beth, she doesn't really <laughs> want you to guess, okay? Tell us, man. Well, it's it a rhetorical seems that Lori question. sent Charlena a bunch of story ideas, one of which Charlena used in her latest book without telling or paying Lori. Charlena stole something Lori wrote? That's incredible. No, the fact that Lori wrote something that Charlena thought was worth stealing. That's what's incredible. Ooh. It makes me think Charlena's a lot more devious. It makes me think that Lori may not be quite it as makes dumb. Me think yeah. That Lori may not be quite as dumb as she looks. Yeah, better keep an eye on her, Nan. Catch you later. We'll be right here. Yeah, washing the paint out of our hair. Okay. 
tell Fra oh yeah, yeah yeah we gotta tell joe and frank about the engineer let's go do that So is this the point now where... <gasps> oh, that? It's Camille. Oh my gosh. It's Camille. That was her. Her ghost. Okay. So I think... Is this the point where if when we tell them now we are about hey, to get off the train? Going? I think I know the name of Jake Hurley's engineer. James Thurston. Great! What else do you know about him? Well, nothing. Good. Good? Yeah, finding out more about him will give us oh, something okay. to do. We'll look into it. See you in a bit. Sounds good. So, I don't know. What else is that? Was that pretty... I guess I feel like that was pretty much everything, wasn't it? Or, or wait. Looks there was like some sort of steam valve. Do not do until all pipes are connected. Well, we can't do that. Hmm... Still have to do the check. Oh yeah, we can tell John Gray about the ghost we just saw. I get low-key anxiety watching Nancy hop train cars in the motion. Oh I know. I know. Oh. Yeah, you're so right. Because she could just like or is that her technically stepping over? What's up? I saw a bunch of weird glowing lights outside the window of the sleeping car. Really? Actually, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I think so, Tori. I think that's. I was thinking I was just ahead of myself. Because when I checked the task like, task list again, it says that you need to go back and see if they can if they found anything. Charlena said Jake Hurley used to see them too. Only he attributed them to his dead wife, Camille. They're probably some form of piezoelectricity. See, my guess is quartz crystals Pies in the ground and electricity. are being compressed as the train passes over them, and the resulting voltage, called piezoelectricity, is manifesting itself as glowing lights, probably because of some quirk in the train shape or in the composition of the metals used in its construction. It was custom-built, remember. So it's a natural phenomenon, not a ghostly one? So it's a natural phenomenon, not a ghostly one? Take it from me. Old Mother Nature was capable of some pretty scary stuff. Well, I'll catch you later. Take care. I never have the conversation that triggers Camille because I'm the jumpiest person on the planet. You can't play Ghost of Thornton all. Oh, uh, no. I get it, though. I, I honestly, like, I'm shocked that I, I have been able to trigger that scene and then also the hidden passage scene because I don't feel like I ever see those in this game. I would say I see Camille more. But, uh... Hey, how's it going? Were you able to find anything out about Jake's engineer, that James Thurston guy? Good news and bad news. Uh -huh. Good news is he had a wife in Copper Gorge, so That's where we're going. Had children. The bad That's where news we're going. Our internet service provider stopped providing before we could use our cell phones to find out anything else. That's okay. We can do more checking when we get to Copper Gorge. Right. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Love the pictures. Nice scenery. Copper Gorge. Oh my gosh. Go to the museum? Borscht, I guess. Oh, hold on. You know what we should probably do? I should probably save the game. Haven't done that in a while. Fatima! Save. Here we come. Hot dang, it's the Charlena Purcell. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see her. Hey there, welcome oh, to your old time taffy house. Best come on over, character. Here. Welcome, stranger. <laughs> Listen. You by any chance get here on that private train what's parked out yonder? As oh, a of fact, she's the yes, best! There's a rumor going around that Charlena Purcell's on board. Is that true? Is As that a matter true? of fact, yes it is. Hot dang if that don't beat all. I've read every single book that gal's ever written. Best writer whatever lived. Did she get off the train too? I don't think so. She's pretty busy. 
Charlena Purcell herself right here in Copper Gorge, breathing the same air as me. Hot dang! <laughs> well, welcome, little missy. Go on in and take a gander at what life was like during the heyday of Copper Gorge whilst you sample some of our delicious homemade saltwater taffy. Oh my gosh, that's, I'm telling you, like, she's seriously so stinking funny. Delicious homemade saltwater taffy. <laughs> okay, okay. So, sample as in free sample? Sample as in free sample? Some daffy on a stick will cost you two tokens. Hot dang. by winning both those games over there. How much does it cost to play them? Well, ain't you the little penny pincher. Fact of the matter is, they're free. Unless you go messing with the artifacts I got in here. Do that and you'll be head first in the nearest snowdrift before you know what hit you. Where'd all these artifacts come from? <laughs> Been in the family for years. For uh... centuries, in fact. See, Buell was my great-great-uncle. This building used to be his general store. During the glory days back in the 1880s, he commenced a pawn brokering, so the miners Copper Gorge was crawling with back then could raise some cash to pay for grub and tools and such. But pretty soon, the mining boom went bust, and there was Uncle Butte, stuck with a whole store full of junk. Only it wasn't junk to him. Debris from lost lives and broken dreams, what he called it. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it, so he passed it on to his kin. My great granddad is the one who come up with the idea of turning the place into a tourist attraction. Oh, I just, oh, it's just so good. And I love that Nancy tries to say did the artifacts and she's just like copying a Fatima's accent. I'm telling you, like, she is so funny. She's so funny. Well, ain't you a little penny pincher? <laughs> Okay. Do you by any chance have any of Jake Hurley's things? Do you by any chance have any of Jake Hurley's things in here? Jake who? Hurley. He was a miner. I think he may have left a lamp and a pickaxe with your great great uncle. Never heard of him. Of course, that don't mean his stuff's not here. Just means you're just gonna have to look around and see for yourself. But remember, Susie Q, don't touch. Great talking to you. Be right here if you got any questions. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you guys see the blue shirt up here? That is for nineteen or seventeen ninety nine. I can't tell. That's this shirt. <laughs> it's so great. Man, they should sell some of this stuff in the Her Interactive store. We should send this to uh, Rue and Indy and Brigella and see if they can like if they can sell some of this stuff. It's great. Copper Gorge Mining Company. Welcome to Copper Gorge. This looks just like the insignia I saw on the train. I'll bet this was Jake's trunk. If this was his trunk, maybe the pickaxe and lamp that I need are inside. Hmm. You ain't touching anything nope. over there, are you, Missy? Oops, I'd better go ask permission before I mess with this. Oh, let me let me get some permission. Got to get some chicken parmesan. Hold on. You still here? Do you know what's in that old trunk over there? Why? You ain't been fooling with it, have you? Oh, no, of course not. No, I just thought it might contain the lamp and pickaxe that I asked you about before. Well, if it does, you can forget about them, because it's locked. None of my kin have ever been able to figure out how to open it. Not even my cousin Alvin, and he went to junior college. Would it be okay if I tried to open it? Well, now, I certainly ain't gonna let you break it open if that's what you're getting at. Oh, no, I would never use force, believe it. You know touch it nope sorry not gonna happen little missy unless unless tell you what you get charlene a person oh. to come in here so i can shake her hand and i'll let you i remember now drunk till the cows come home. uh i got a better idea you know what i've got a better well then you'd have something to hang on the wall and brag about okay make it so i can meet her and get her autograph Autograph. Oh, the thing is, she's on a deadline, <laughs> and if you take her away from her writing, she may fall behind. And if she falls behind, her publisher may pull the plug. And if her publisher pulls the plug, it could ruin her career. Do you really want to risk ruining Charlena Purcell's career? Good heavens, of course not. All right, you just get me Charlena's autograph, and you got a deal. 
Just make sure she uses my name. I want it real personal like. You bet. And your name is? Fatima, with an F. None of that weirdo PH stuff. Okay, <laughs> Fatima, I'll be right back. Oh, no. Oh, Anika, thanks so much for joining the stream. I really appreciate it since this was your first stream that you've joined. But yeah, no, you have a great night. Get some rest. Um, thanks for joining. Oh, I know. She's just... Everything that Fatima says is just so iconic. It's so iconic. Okay, so she's going to want an autograph. So we're going to have to get that. Um, oh, yeah, we got to get the taffy. This is the this is the game, yeah. Oh, do we just start? Oh, you know I always hated playing this game because it's it's like by random chance, and so it's like, how do you get it where you need it? Because the goal is to get it in the yellow, right? Not the purple. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Is there like a trick to this method or is there like a way that you're supposed to get it to the... It's very similar to What's 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 over there in the shadow at water's edge, the pachinko parlor? <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, you're right. I've been really excited and looking forward to that one. I forgot that I haven't done that game yet. See, that makes me I need like a I got to have a Fatima costume though. Oh jeez, I don't even know. Can you actually fit all the all the quotable moments from this game in five minutes? I think I think it, I may. I don't know if I'll be able to do it because there's way too many quotable ones. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. We we're so close. Yeah, come on. Yes. Oh, you're doing it. Oh, do I win? Please tell me I win. Just one more. One more. You're so close. Yes! Uh, that means I won, right? Yes. So then it, now we just have to get the other one and then we'll be good. We can get the taffy. Oh, I forgot. This one's like by random chance too, huh? Uh, five. Come on, Secretariat, win the race! Come on! Secretariat, come on. And I lose. Hmm. <sighs> okay, okay, let's see. What are your guesses? Do you have any good guesses? Which ones we should go for? I'm gonna say, uh, sea, uh, sea biscuit, green. Come on, Sea Biscuit! Don't fail me now. Oh my gosh! Did Sea Biscuit win? No! 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 Loser. Uh. Bow bow. <laughs> this puzzle. <laughs> yeah, like you just don't know, right? You just have to kind of guess. Okay, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, there's just no way to tell. How fast did you end up getting, uh, Mina? Ugh, come on. And I lose. <laughs> did he really? <gasps> That's amazing, Tori. Because it's like, it's all guesswork, right? It's just all a matter of just guessing. 
Who's got the lucky number? Oh, oh, ah. Uh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on, man. I'm going with blue. Oh. You can do it, blue. <gasps> Did blue win? Yes. Blue won. <laughs> Uh, so good. Sweet. So I can get my taffy now? What's it, what's it called? Happy taffy? Looks like to get some taffy on a stick, I'm going to need two different tokens. Boom. Sweet. All right, let's go get that autograph. Let's go get that autograph. Oh, I know. I was there for that, Tori. Um, and was incredibly impressed with how fast he was going. <laughs> like, it was so fast. It was so I've actually never speed ran any game. And I would be interested, like, maybe one year if we do, like, some more Nancy Drew marathons, I would love to do a speed run one. More questions? <sighs> I met a huge fan of yours in town who'd really, really like your autograph. An autograph picture would be even better. Imagine that. Me having fans way out here in the boonies. Well, I'm <laughs> sure I have a picture around here somewhere. But what I don't have is a pen. Usually I just ask my assistant for one. I have a pencil here somewhere. A pencil won't do, dear. It has to be ink. See if you can borrow a pen from someone. <coughs> Excuse me. Still trying to get over this uh, <coughs> cough. Yes, you love to speedrun? What? You used to have the record for lie and spy? That's amazing. I see. I, I don't know if I would be really good at it, though. I think that's why I'm apprehensive about it. Excuse me, sir. What's up? Do you have a pen? I really, really need a pen. Could I borrow one from you? Sorry. I won't keep you any longer. Come back anytime. Hmm. Okay. So to Tino. Tino, Tino, Tino. I feel like maybe the earlier games I could probably be good at speedrunning, but anything past that? <laughs> probably not. Ah, I can't stay mad at a fellow detective. What do you need? Um... Do you think I could take a closer look at that cougar statue? What, that cigar clipper? Uh, go ahead, Let's take a look. I'll there it is. I'll stone to build that thing in the diagram I found. But if I remove it now, Tina will know I'm onto something. This is true. We'll have to be a little bit sneakier I than that. I just wanted to get a good look at it, that's all. What else can I do for you? Do you by any chance have a pen I could borrow? Why, I'm surprised at you. Don't you know that every detective should carry a pen? Actually, I carry a pencil. Well, as it happens, I got lots of pens. I'll tell you what, if you can play that leap and lizards uh, game, I, I forgot. It's always a favor for a I favor. I played it, which shouldn't be that hard, seeing as how smart you are. I'll give you a pen. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Okay, the object of the game is to get rid of as many lizards as you can by jumping them with other lizards until you can't jump anymore. Last time I played, I wound up with just five lizards. If you can wind up with only four, the pen's yours. Hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if I did that right or not. I remember like sometimes I feel like I can solve this like Cracker Barrel puzzle like really quickly. And then other times I, I'm just, I'm stuck. Like, ugh, why did I do that? Hold on, let me fix that right quick. Okay, okay, okay. We did something. 
Oh no. Did I get myself stuck? <laughs> I think I got myself stuck. No! Try uh, again. Yes, it is so much like the cracker barrel puzzle. Okay, hold on. Let me let me do that one again. Let's see. Okay, that was good. I think that was good. Oh. That was even... Bi oh. Oh, we're, we're on a roll right now. Mm. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, we just needed one more. more. Well, sure. I remember back in the old days when, like, Her Interactive used to have all of the mini games for their games on the website. I loved when they did that. I need them to. I need them to do that again because that was amazing. Although I feel like someone said recently that you could actually go back and. Uh, you can still find all of the mini games on there and play them. So okay, so I think the goal if you can if you can have one in each like square, then you should be good. That's what I'm seeing. Mm. You always fail at this. Do you always use a cheat on this? I don't. Ah, uh, no. I don't think they had this one, Carly. I think I just was being. I just reminded. I just was remembering about the mini games. Um, I don't know what all mini games did they have. Now that you mention it, um, they had the Scopa puzzle. I know. <gasps> was that it? it. Yes. Talk about luck. Here's your pen. I know they had. What else can I do for you? Scopa. You big help. Anything for a fellow detective. Gosh, what else did they have? I can't remember. It's been so long ago. And by the way, welcome, Classic Sleuth. I like fox and geese better than this one. Oh, I actually like fox and geese too. Hot take. I know a lot of people don't. Okay, so now let's go get that autograph. Yes. We worked hard for this pen. Hot dying, you did it. <laughs> Have you found a pen so I can autograph that picture? I got it from Tino. You can keep it. If you could have it say to Fatima, that'd be great. There you go. Perfect. Anything else? I'll touch bases with you later. All right then. I'm I'm pretty sure they did, Carly. I'm pretty sure. But don't let me... Uh, don't get me to line now. But I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, did you really? You found it on an app? Hey, Nancy. You, oh. Oh. <gasps> there this you is are. the We've infamous been looking for line. Yeah, you won't believe the lucky break we caught. Lucky break? Hey, that was the result of good old-fashioned detective work. It was the result of your insisting we stop for a cheeseburger. Guys, what's going on? Well, it turns out that a grandchild of Jake's engineer still lives around here. What's more, he hangs out at the local diner. Comes in every day. Apparently, he's pretty ancient. Ah, and you found that out when you stopped there so Joe could get a hamburger. Cheeseburger. The thing is, the owner of the diner wouldn't agree to point the guy out unless one of us fills in for a short cook. He's got to go home and wait for the cable guy or something. Since Joe here barely knows how to boil water, oh, he's got the job. This game is so funny. I haven't played it in three years, and going back now, it is so funny. I see now why this ranks up high for a lot of people. <laughs> oh, wait, man. Oh, that's oh, too funny. This. 
Balducci convinced Lori that Jake's mine is somewhere right here in Copper Gorge. So he, Lori, and John Gray are hiking up the mountain out there even Ooh. as we speak. Like so they're off the train. He's gonna find anything. Sounds like now might be a good time to do some serious poking around on the train. Good thought. Hey, I better get going. Wish me luck. I'll go with you. You can make me a cheeseburger. Oh man, that that put me to tears. That was that was too funny. Got that autograph? Got something better. An autographed picture. Hot day! <laughs> she spelled my name right and everything. Go and ahead. Everything. Missy. Have a go with that truck. Uh, Whatever's inside it's all yours. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. It's such a good game. Indentation looks familiar. Yeah, this is this for this. Oh, but we don't know what to do though. Do we? I don't think we do. The zoom kills you every time. To be fair, cheese does make a difference. I agree. It's just it zooms in on his face though, and his eyebrows lift, and he's like, cheeseburger. Like <laughs> Uh, Casey Dickerson, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, just finished with this with my cousins. They missed the cheeseburger scene. No! Uh, wow. Yes, I am. Yes, Tori, I am. And it is the hardest thing ever. I When I, deci when I decided that I was going to start streaming again. There we go. <gasps> I just realized what that was for the first time playing this game. Okay, did everyone hear that? Did everyone just hear what just happened? That noise was <laughs> was Fatima hanging her picture on the wall. <laughs> and she goes, there we go. That's her hanging the autograph picture on the wall. <laughs> this game is so funny. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm trying to exercise self-control and I haven't played any of the games just so that way I can enjoy them again for the first time since the pandemic. And oh, man, it's it's tough. It's so, so tough. Okay, let's go poke around and see what we can find. Not you. Yes, I know, Carly. I just discovered this and now I'm like mind blown. It's like the hidden passage all over again. We keep finding new things. Oh, we can play the piano now. I feel like we should, any time in a Nancy Drew game when a character is gone, we should be able to go see their stuff. That should always be a, what is it called? Rule of thumb? Rule of thumb. Okay. Let's do this piano stuff. Hold up, hold up. I gotta take a picture. Let me get a photo first. Okay. Okay. It's music time, everyone. My favorite time. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Uh, do I know what? I, do I really know what I'm doing now, right now? This one at least is a little bit better than uh, Warnings at Waverly Academy. But no, it's not as mind-blowing as Nancy carrying gun. Oh, did you guys know? Have you ever seen the original Secrets Can Kill original game? And there's a gun in that. <laughs> I was so shook. Okay, G. G is here, right? Is that G? So G, G... E, G, uh, A, A, <gasps> I was so, what? I spy glass. I'll bet it's the one I need for Jake's projector. I did that. Okay, let's see. Uh, you got this. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Doesn't that game take place in high school? It does. It does. 
and I had never seen it before. And I caught a stream this week where Southern Sleuth was streaming it. And there's a whole scene with a gun. And I was like, what, what is this? This is not a Nancy Drew game. Is it? I don't know. All right, thank you, Tori. That was the best piano puzzle I've ever done. Oh, man. So wait, where does the spyglass go? Because I actually don't remember. It goes here? Wait, let's look at the blueprints. Spyglass. Yeah, it goes here. Oh, maybe it's because we have to do this. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Jake said a spyglass goes here. Just put that this there. This goes here. <clears throat> I think it's amazing that people can actually play tunes on the piano in Waverly Academy. It's what I find fascinating. Oh, I just realized we can get the other gem now too, huh? From in here. Okay. Boop. Mm, no, I think we did all of that. We did the pipes in there. Yeah, we're done with all of Lori's puzzles in there. Now, the only other thing I think that's in here that we... No, yeah, we did those pipes. Oh, we don't have this box open yet. Oh, he's back. What's up? I hear Tino took you and Lori for a little hike today. Don't remind me. Turns out Tino had no idea where he was going. Good thing for him my fingers were frozen stiff. Otherwise, I would have strangled him. Well, I'll catch you later. Goodbye. Oh, well, if they're back, let's go... Um... Go talk to uh, Tino and Lori. <laughs> What's going on? So how did your expedition to Jake's mine turn out? Well, as you may or may not have heard, I didn't find the mine. But at least now I know where it isn't, which is just as good as knowing where it is. Sort of. It's been great talking to you. Helping people is what oh, I'm all about. Oh, Tino. Tino, Tino, Tino Balducci. Okay, let's go see Lori. When I played Message in Haunted Mansion a few weeks ago, I managed to get some Lord of the Ring music and on that tiny range you get, what? Oh, that's amazing. You've got to send a video if you do it again. Before you say anything, I just want to say thank you. For what? Tino came to see me. He said you'd made him realize what a jerk he'd been for dumping me, and then he asked me out. He said what? Isn't that great? He said he doesn't care what anybody else thinks. He thinks we make the perfect couple. Uh, no, can't argue with him there. Mm, so what do you want? I never told him to do any of that, did I? I hear Tino took you and John on a trek to Jake's mine. Jake's mine my eye. We went tramping <laughs> through the snow, lugging all this equipment John insisted on bringing, and where do we end up? At this teeny tiny, half-rotten, tumbled-down outhouse. He led you to an outhouse? Well, he said it was the opening to a mine shaft, but then John said if it was, shouldn't the hole be going into the mountain instead of just down? So they stood there <laughs> arguing until Tino finally grabbed a shovel, went inside, and started digging. What he found was definitely not gold. What did John say? Oh, that's so Tino funny. A moron and a whole lot of other things I'd rather not repeat. I don't think I've ever caught that at all. That that's. I'll come back later. <laughs> Keep me posted. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we're done with puzzles in here. Okay, okay. So I think it is a matter of talking to. No, trying to get the trunk open in the museum. <gasps> Elizabeth, how are you? Yeah, no. I don't I don't think I heard that I've ever heard that dialogue either. Oh no way, did you really? 
Yeah, send it to me if you find it, Tori. I would so enjoy listening to that. More questions? You didn't go on Tino's expedition to Jake's mine? Please, the man barely knows where his head is. If he's the one who finds that mine, I'll eat my... <laughs> I'll let you get back to your writing. My publisher thanks you. I'm telling you all, everyone has such quotable. Who wrote this one? Who wrote this one? I'll eat my laptop. It's just so funny. It's so funny. Okay, that was that was it. That was everything. Engineer, this better be Miss Gerard. Well, actually. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, um, let's see. I don't know what else what else have we done we don't have the numbers yet we did play the piano I'm done with that uh keep your eyes peeled for more of those slugs I haven't done that yet. collect all the items we don't have those yet uh find all the gemstones I haven't done that yet. see if you can discover who threw the emergency break check ask john gray did check. that My kids are going to bed, and then I had to decompress. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm so glad you got to join. So glad to see you. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Can't check that Go to the cemetery yet. where Camilla is buried and find her grave. Oh. Finish that. Finish that. Finish that. So check. now now we know what we have to do. I'm done with that. It's Valletta. How are you? Thank you so much for following. I so appreciate it. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Oh, and Heartless Shroom. Thank you so much. I haven't done that yet. Finish that. Oh my gosh. It's a GJ Twin Gamers Twin Raid. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys so much for the raid. I wish I could stay, but I have to get up early tomorrow. So I'm going to try and get some sleep, have a fun stream. Oh yeah, no, th no problem. Thank you, Casey. You get some rest. And I'll catch you again for the stream. Okay, let's go to the crypt. Ooh, how's the mystery of the train going? You startled me. Do you work here? I do. Are you looking for someone? Uh, oh my gosh. Yes, Camille Hurley. She died back in the 1800s. Ah, Camille. Beautiful crypt. Wonderful view. Good drainage. Whoever buried her must have loved her very much. So May I go inside? eerie. You may, but unfortunately you can't. Why not? I accidentally dropped the key down the grate that's in front of the crypt. Oh, if you can retrieve it, that's what the taffy's for. I'm having another one made. But if you do go into the crypt, just remember, you won't be alone. Oh, so eerie. The mystery of the train is going, DJ Twin Gamers. Oh, hey, actually, I mean, like, right when we uh, started, I showed everyone. See if I can find it. I showed everyone and I shouted you guys out. Uh, I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to use them. Make rubbings of these pillars. I'll need a pencil, which I already have, and some nice thin paper. Yeah, we don't have any paper right now. So we'll have to come back to that. But, but, there is this. Familiar. Oh, snap. You mean to tell me I got, oh, I'm gonna do copper too? Copper is green, red, purple, yellow, orange, blue. Well, can we do this? Can we do this one first or? Oh, good, we can. Okay, so green, red, purple, yellow orange and then blue i can't wait for the new nancy drew to come out oh man i oh that oh that's where the other one was me too i'm so excited about it they have done such a wonderful job with the marketing and it looks amazing all of the all of the sneak peeks they post i'm like so blown away <coughs> sorry you found the video and you just sent it oh i can't wait to go watch it Okay, excuse me. Fits in here. So let's see. Now this one is li lead. No, lead is the key. Yeah, lead is the key. So it's red, green, blue, 
orange, uh, yellow, and purple. <gasps> well, yes. here's Jake's lamp. I had another slug. Could come in handy. But where's his pickaxe? Oh, yeah, no worries. No worries. Where's his pickaxe? Hmm. Well, let's let's see if we ask Welcome her. Back. Have you by any chance ever come across a pickaxe that had the initials JH carved into it? Why? Because it used to belong to Jake Hurley, and I really, really need it. I thought it would be in that old trunk, but it wasn't. You got that trunk open? <laughs> Wait till I tell Cousin Alvin. He thinks he's so smart. <laughs> As for that pickaxe, so happens I got it upstairs in my kitchen. Use it to open the coconuts Aunt Lucy sends me every year from Hawaii. Do you think I can <gasps> have it? Why, Connection. No, it. Aunt Lucy has to maybe work at the Healy Healy. <laughs> hmm. Hey, I could have just gotten you Charlena's autograph, but instead I got you an autographed picture, which is way better. You owe me. Oh, okay, I'll let you have the pickaxe after you do something for me. Is it taffy time? It's taffy sure. time! I got a bunch of taffy over yes. here. Yes! Just follow the directions that are posted by the machine. Them belts get moving pretty fast, so you, you got a your deal. While you're doing that, I'll fetch that pickaxe. You got a deal. I love sorting some taffy. Okay, okay, let's let's save here. Taffy, oh, taffy time. Taffy time. Okay. So. Wax paper for the taffy. Would you mind if I took a piece of wax paper? Yes, I can let you have a piece. Oh, am I, is, is that, is that happening? Uh, Valletta, yeah, you know what? Sometimes Twitch, it glitches out like that on me. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over there. Okay, so wait, is it... This is where we just start? What is this? What is that? Is that mango? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Great. That's a reject, right? Is this a reject? Oh my gosh, I don't know. <gasps> what? What is it? The strawberry? Oh my gosh, I don't know anything. Apple. That's the reject. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, this is banana. Oh my gosh. It's like what's on the image. Reject. This is apple. Okay. I feel like I'm in that I Love Lucy episode where her and Ethel are having to sort the chocolate. Uh Oh. Oh. Also, that is strawberry is not pure red over here. It's like spotted. Yes, indeedy. Ah, uh, thanks so much for joining Pomport. Um, I appreciate you joining. Yeah, you get some great uh rest tonight. And sleep well. Having seen that dragon story you wrote in school, I understand more why you're so good at connection videos. Great imagination. Well, thank you. <laughs> Wait, can I eat taffy? Oh, I can't eat it? I didn't know if she could or not. Got that taffy sorted? Uh, no problem. No problem. That was easy. You sneak any freebies <gasps> while you were at it? I totally forgot about that episode on Drake and Josh, Bethany. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yeah, you're right. And they're like stuffing it in their hats and their head, their hair. Hmm. Uh, it's it pretty, pretty tempting, tempting, but I didn't. Nope, I sure didn't. Well, ain't you the goody two shoes? <laughs> Truth is, wouldn't have minded too much if you had, long as you fessed up to it. Here's the pickaxe. Cracked the handle pretty bad on nope. the last batch of coconuts. You sure you want it? Positive. There you go. Don't hurt yourself. I oh. won't. Thank you. Okay, so wait a minute. We have. And about his grandfather. Oh my gosh, so good. 
talking about James Thurston? Exactly. Of course, five seconds later, he's rambling on about something totally unrelated, but I just fill an order, ring the bell, and ding, he picks up right where he left off. That is, unless I fill the order wrong and the waitress chews me out. She's got a voice like a chainsaw. Very distracting. <laughs> Sounds like you better keep your ears open and your nose to the grindstone. I am. Just wanted to keep you posted. Well, good luck. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Oh, man. Okay, so it's burger time. A volcano burger. So we need onions, jalapenos. Okay, onions. Jalapenos. Uh, didn't it say spicy mustard? Hot, yeah, hot mustard, bacon, and cheese. Hot mustard. Um, bacon. And cheese. I don't know if you guys ever saw that video I made where I played like a bunch of Nancy Drew characters at Nancy's uh, birthday party. But if you did, you'll you'll see that part where like I answered the phone and it's literally like, well, my granddaddy said that and it literally it's this guy. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Ring the bell. He owned a train. Do you know what you want to order yet, Edna? <laughs> I'm still looking. Did I tell you okay. that my granddaddy was each man that ever passed Tomato. through Copper Gorge? Jake Hurley was his name. Yes, sir, my granddaddy was Jake's private engineer for more than 25 years. Told my daddy that men don't come That's any better than, than Jake Hurley, or any nicer. Treated my granddaddy real well and told him stuff. Real important stuff. Stuff he made my granddaddy swear to never ever forget. Stuff that my granddaddy told my daddy and that my daddy told me. Why don't you get the egg salad, Edna? Eggs are back to being good for you, you know. Seems like just last year all those scientific types were saying your arteries would clog up if you so much as looked at an egg. But nowadays, why well, all of a sudden eggs are chock full of vitamins and proteins and eat them It's true. Okay. They do go back and forth on when you should eat eggs or not. They should either make up their minds or keep their mouths shut. Make eating more pleasant, that's for sure. Yeah, I actually like this cooking puzzle. I don't like all cooking puzzles in these games, but yes, sir, I like Curley this one. Told my granddaddy things he never told another living soul. Um, Not avocado. even his wife. I tell you about her, Edna. I don't think so. <laughs> Camille was her name. Camille Boulet. That's French, you know. Fruit of jelly. Died so young that poor Jake didn't have time to tell her Ugh. anything. According to my granddaddy, one summer day she had a dizzy spell and fell and hit her head. She didn't oh. take well to the heat, see? And sometimes in the summer, when they were going through the desert, why, that train would be just like an oven. Anyway, Granddad said she got right up afterwards and seemed okay. But a couple hours later, Jake found her in her room, dead as a doornail. Now, there's another expression that kind of makes you wonder. Dead as a doornail? How can something be dead if it was never alive to begin with? Then why a doornail? Why not something else that begins with a D? Like, dish rag. Or dust mop. Dead as a dust mop. That's kind of got a ring to it, don't you think? Uh, yeah, no worries, Mina. Thanks so much for joining. And um, I probably appreciate that. And yeah, of course, you're welcome. It. I just wanted to share it as much as I possibly could. It was so amazing. And I can't wait to see what you do next. So, but yeah, thanks for joining. D and I just had this, I'm no lie, I just had this exact conversation too with someone thread needlefish. The way my granddaddy died, that was kind of strange too. Everything minus I ever tell you how my piece. granddaddy died? No, I don't think you okay. did. My daddy, he came home from school one day to find a railroad official telling his mom that granddad had been found dead in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada. He was in the engine of Jake Hurley's train just minus kind of the slumped peas, over with his butter, hand still on the throttle. Herring. The strange thing Pickled is, herring. nobody else was on board the train. Yet the door to the engine was locked and barred. It was like Granddad was trying to keep someone out. Like he was running from something. Like something finally scared him so bad his heart just stopped. Of course, he was in his 60s at the time, and back then that was old. <laughs> Doesn't seem so old now, does it, Edna? Here I am pushing 93 and still spry as a spring chicken. Spring chicken! Now where do you suppose that expression came from? <laughs> Why not spring goose or summer chicken? Ah, life's just one puzzlement after another, isn't it, Edna? I ever tell you about the mine Chef's my granddaddy choice. said Jake Hurley okay. found? He found a mine? 
A couple years before he died, Granddad told my daddy that Jake found a vein in the mountains somewhere and was mining it all by himself so no one would steal it out from under him. He wouldn't even tell Granddad where the mine was. What he'd do is have Granddad drive the train real slow so he could jump off without Granddad seeing him. Then Granddad would pick him up at a prearranged spot a few days later. Oh, they didn't call him Crazy Jake Curly for nothing. Speaking of crazy, you see how much Abner's charging for a haircut at that shop of his now? <laughs> 20 bucks! But what's even crazier is people are actually paying him that. I told him the only way I'd pay him 20 bucks would be if I came in with hair down to my knees. He just laughed and said I was a crazy one. 20 bucks for a haircut? What is this world coming to? But the craziest thing Jake Hurley ever did Oh, is this it? Granddad the secret to oh, finding this his is mind. it. He made him swear to tell it to my daddy <coughs> and nobody else. Eventually, my daddy, he told me. And it was so bizarre that I remember it to this day. Though I sure don't understand how it had helped anybody find his mind. But since my daddy didn't tell me not to tell anybody, this is what crazy Jake Hurley told Granddad, word for word. The eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. Peridot rests at the foot of the mare. The eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. Peridot rests at the foot of the mare. That's what he said. I'm positive. Gosh, where'd you get this? I found it in the caboose. A Gosh, where'd you get this? I found it in the caboose. Apparently, he and Jake were pen pals. Wow. I had a famous writer for a pen pal. I forgot that. Oh. It bears repeating that my wonderful company, but Carson City. Hmm. That's so cool. When Joe gave it to me, I about flipped. I know I should turn it over to Lori, and I will, but it's just so darn cool. I still don't see what the big deal is. I mean, it's not like it's from Mark Twain or anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. You know where to find us. I, I'm pretty sure that this has to be like one of the funniest Nancy Drew games. I think it has to be the funniest Nancy Drew game, right? Like, it is so funny. Okay, okay. We, ooh, we have so much. Wait. Oh, we never went to uh, the crypt because we got called to go do the burgers. Sorry, I was trying to, I was trying to respond to uh, everyone, but then that burger scene, I forget, has like a really long dialogue. But, um... Yeah, I was just having that conversation with with someone too the other day, Thread and Needlefish, and we were we were literally talking about those same things. I was like, yeah, you know, like eggs, they always say they're so bad for you, but then they come back and say that they're good for you, and I'm like, I don't know. Eternity. That's one side. And then this side. Purity. <laughs> you love. Oh yeah, it does really remind me of the warnings at Waverly Academy. But yes, that that's just gold to listen to the gossip and Waverly. Charity. Okay, one more, one more. Wisdom. Wisdom, charity, purity, eternity. Okay. So now we should be able to open those numbers up now, right? I think that's what it's for. Let's go see. Yes. Oh no, should we have remember should I have remembered which one goes where? Or do they tell you? Oh no, it's telling you. Okay, perfect. So now we just need to know what number is associated with what, right? And I think it tells you in that book when that we were reading earlier, right? 
Was it this one? Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They all have different names. Yeah. So let's see. A heart is purity and what else was on there rabbit bow apple key wisdom charity wisdom wisdom is wisdom not on here oh wisdom is an owl Charity is a dove. Oh, okay. There's a crown. Okay, so... Wisdom... Is this way? Eternity that way? Uh, charity is this way? Purity is... This way. Oh, I forgot. Got to know what what's the number for each one, which is on this thing right here. So the harp is three. The owl is seven. The dove is nine. And the crown is six. Perfect. Oh, I've noticed that this that the stream keeps lagging. I got kicked a few times. Really? Oh man, it's a bummer. I've noticed that um, that mostly happens with me with Twitch, especially. I don't know why. So the first one looks like it would be wisdom. And then charity. And then the crown, eternity. And then purity. So it should be seven. Oh, is that what it is? I wonder. Yeah, I wondered if that's what that was. Hmm. I will say too, I think it's actually about to storm here as well. So that could be that could be a factor as well. More pipes. Why am I not surprised? Which happens every time it storms here. Mm. should do it boom yeah uh, yeah it's probably what it is so was that all the pipes that we have to do because if so can we turn this one? Oh, uh -oh. never mind that never mind look good definitely not time i thought i did them all Okay, we did that. Finish that. Use the diagram. Oh Can't yeah, check. I did that. Finish that. Deal. I'm done with that. Check, check. I'm done. Ooh, we did a lot. I'm done with that. Check, check. Oh my gosh. I'm done with that. I'm done Whoa. with that. Whoa. Check. 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 Can't check that off yet. Mm. No, I don't have. No, I don't actually have an e cable. It's actually just on Wi-Fi. But that would probably be that would probably be better, wouldn't it? Mm. So if that's the case, then I should just be able to go put everything in. It should be. It should be ready, right?
Is it still um, wanting to lag now on YouTube? Okay, let's see here. Ah. Oh. No. What I need How is some duct tape. Hmm. This? Okay. Well, here actually, while while I'm here, let me <laughs> let me put this down. Okay, looks like that goes there. And then this. There. It should work now. Oh, we gotta figure this out too. Okay, so just looking. Well, this is good to know. Thank you guys for that. I'm okay. good. I'm gonna have to. I will have to look into that. Okay, so I have the tiger. Did I did I read that in the letter? Did 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 she? Did Nancy write it down? I wrote some of it down, but I didn't get all of it. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. So amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. And then Peridot is the foot of the mare. Oh, actually, I need to go look at that gem book, too, because I know some of my... I know some of the birthstones for the months, but I don't... Okay, I knew that was Amethyst. Gold brown? Okay. Zircon. Tourmaline is like a watermelon. What's Peridot? Is that red? Oh, it's green. Okay. Sweet. I got these gems and everything. Uh, fingers that scar with the zircon. Zircon is this bright yellow one. I think it's this one, right? Oh goodness. Ooh, don't know what that one could be yet. Uh, foul mouth is citrine, so maybe it's this one. This gold brown. Uh, floats hands deep by soft arm ensnared. This could be a soft arm ensnared, right? Hmm. I think... Oh, gosh. This is where I get it really messed up. Foot of the mare. That's the peridot, which is the green. Okay, those all look right, I feel like. This this is amethyst. Whoa, looks like I did <gasps> something right. Oh my gosh, I got it right. Sweet. This never happens to me. Okay, so we need some kind of tape. The last time I played this was the first time I realized that they were in the order of the poem. Oh, I didn't even notice that either. I've been learning a lot about this game, this playthrough. Because I triggered some stuff that I've never... I've either never seen before or that's like really hard for me to trigger. What's up? Would you by any chance have any duct tape? Got some right there in my gearbox. That's the good news. The bad news is I can't open the box. It's an antique lock box that I found in this abandoned monastery I scoped out on my show last year. You can uh -huh. open it with either the key, which I just discovered I forgot to bring with me, or the combination, which you're supposed to be able to figure out just by looking at the box. Fortunately, I didn't oh, anything no. in there. I've never tried to open it without the key, but if you want that duct tape, go ahead and give it a shot. Thanks. I think I will. I remember. Open, the duct tape's all yours. I There's remember this puzzle. Buttons. They tell a story, maybe? I bet the animals should start. So here is what. Okay. I will certainly have to 
really think about this one. This one always gets me. Like I always struggle with this one. So basically, okay, they start on the left side of the shore. So someone has to get on the boat. <laughs> John, why are you using an antique puzzle box to hold your duct tape? For real. For real. Why you gotta lock that up? Okay. So basically they have to take someone over. Who I know it's like one of those things where it's like one eats the other one, but how do you know who eats who? So who do we take first? We would take mm, Well, this one's last because this means they all end up on the shore over here. So maybe this one because there's two left. So they take the Jaguar or Cougar or whatever that is. Mm. And then... So then we would have to end up, what would we do? Yeah, we drop, we drop him off. We'd come back. Oh, okay. So we'd come back. Who, who would we get? We get the wolf. We get the wolf, leave the peacock. Possibly. No. Yeah, we get the wolf, leave the peacock. And then we'd bring... The, mm. You chose to believe it's an abnormally large calico cat. <laughs> um, This one's saying... Oh, no, no, no. Hmm. Huh. Okay, because okay, so I see. Wait, what did I select? I can't. Oh man! So it's this one first. You get the cat. You bring the cat over. So by the time you come back, there's only two. There should only be two animals left on the shore to the, on the side shore. So it's a matter of who we're going to take next, right? So this one, this one. Bring it back. Um, we're leaving it. We're going to go back and get... Maybe... Okay. It's the wolf. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was the wolf next. Mm -hmm. So then, where I forgot which order we were in. This one, this one, this one. And leave it there. Okay. Bird. Oh, okay. So that's why we... Wolf, and then boom. <gasps> no way. No way. My brain feels so happy that it did this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, sweet. So we can go fix our stuff now. Whew. Okay. There. Good as new. Oh, sort of. Oh, hey, you know what, actually? Wasn't there, um... I wonder if that eagle has something to do with the eagle in that painting in the dining car. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. How much was the eagle? I actually don't remember. The eagle is two. Hmm. The eagle's two. So... 
Oh, the math. The math ain't mathin'. See if I can remember. The owl is seven, right? And the cherries... Did I, did I write this down earlier? Thought I did. Did I? Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember how I got to where I got with all these. Okay. And then it was, wasn't it something crazy? Like, oh my gosh. The eagles, the eagle was two. If I just start moving them around, do you think I'll get it? No. <laughs> I was just really hoping. I was like, maybe if I just move it around, it'll just happen. Oh my gosh, did it really just happen? <laughs> I'm so glad that, that we didn't have to do any math. Use only six slugs. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Oh, the luck! The luck! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was just too beyond my brain. I had to think way too hard for that antique box to open up. It was just, I had nothing left. And naturally, we have still more uh, I see now. I see the dilemma. Wait, how does this work? Oh, okay. Oh, the blue ones move the red ones. Oh my goodness. So then, maybe like that. Oh my gosh, how do you do this one? Yeah, these all have to be connected. Oh, like that, maybe? Thanks for hopping in to say hello. You're kind to do that. Brute force map. Yeah, you know. That's just kind of how it happened. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Mmm. This is like the best, fun, funnest part. Oh, but you know what? Before we do it, we should call Bess and George because I haven't spoken to them in a while. Just to give them the current tea on everything that's going on. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, Nance. Listen, I'm dying to know. What's it like to finally work with Frank and Joe Hardy? Oh, Bess, you're incorrigible. Hey, if you don't <laughs> want to hear, just go over there and don't listen. She's listening. So what's it like? Well, Frank is serious and methodical, while Joe is kind of happy-go-lucky and impulsive. They're not trying to boss you around and be all manly all the time? No, not at all. They're great. George has a thing for Frank. Well, you like Joe. But the real question here is, which one does Nancy like? No! Oh, yeah, which one do you like? I, d I didn't know they asked you in this game as Nancy. Can't do it to my boy Ned, I just can't. Neither. I like Ned, remember? Oh yeah, Ned. Good old dependable Ned. Oh. You think he's boring, don't wow. you? Wow. You think I think he's boring? <clears throat> hey, I think what you think is much more important than what I think. Translation: She thinks he's boring. Wow. Inside the crypt where Jake buried his wife, Camille. Ned's a great guy. As far as I know. Did you see her? No, she was kind enough to stay in her coffin. Was it like totally gross and creepy in there? <laughs> <laughs> Dory. It's just Ned, Ned, Ned. Uh, uh I mean actually no, it really was kind of pleasant. You know, it was very 
peaceful, almost pleasant. Any idea how she died? Frank told me that he overheard the grandson of Jake's engineer say she died after she fell and hit her head. Did she fall? Or did Jake, you know, give her a little push? The guy who takes <gasps> care of the cemetery says he can tell from the way he buried her that Jake must have loved Camille a lot. Ah, but did he love her? Or did he just have a guilty conscience? That's the question. I'll talk hmm. to you guys later. I know. That's so bad. I can't believe she does that. Because Ned seriously is such a great guy. All right, let's do this thing. Is this it? I think this is it. I'm like nervous. <gasps> this is it. Lift off. Wow. Animation is just superb right here. Oh, it's so good. So good. And just all around pretty magical. There it is. Brimstone Canyon. That's where Jake's mine is. Brimstone Canyon. Don't you look all excited. What's up? I think I know where Jake's mine is. Tell the engineer to head for a place in Nevada called Brimstone Canyon. Way to go. I knew you could do it, Francie. Not Francie, Nancy. <laughs> Here's the deal. When we get there, I'm going to make sure that you get to be the first one to check out the mine. I'll call everyone so together fun. in the dining car. And while we're in there, you slip off the train. Will 10 minutes be enough of a head start? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Think of it as your reward. Of course, anything you find in the mine is, well, mine. So if I find out that you've taken something without telling me, let's just say things could get ugly. Oh, goodness. Don't worry, you can trust me. I have the feeling that thanks to you, we are about to discover something huge. Great job, Amy. Uh, thank you. Oh, man. So good. So good. Epic cutscene leading up to this fantastic reveal. Ugh. So good. Yeah. So nice. Okay. Sounds like the train's leaving. Where's it going? Oh. Well, Frank and Joe will make sure it comes back for me. I hope. All right, here we go. I'm like nervous. No way to go but forward. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's gotta be the entrance to Jake's mine, but it's totally blocked by boulders. Okay, let's do it. How do we... Oh, it's one of those that you gotta, like, guess. Oh, that was really close. Ah. Uh... Uh, yeah. <gasps> Here we go. Here we go. Blow down the boulders. Fire in the hole. Whoa. You know, that was actually pretty dangerous that Nancy did that. <laughs> when I had to wash behind my ears, such a friendly stinging reminder to put sunscreen on your ears. Ooh, I've had that happen to me before, Elizabeth. Oh, and right. that is, this is the, the worst. Mine. Oh, you got some aloe vera or anything that you can put on there to, like, soothe it? Whoa, what's going on here? Jake's color wheel seems to be pointing toward purple. Interesting. Purple. Wow, glowing lizards. Cool, but weird. It's ironic that these lizards would still be here for this to work. Uh, red? 
Is that yellow? Yellow? So, purple? Makes me uneasy. Okay, and now we got the orange lizard. Oh, is this a snake? What's that do? Wonder what that's doing there. Hmm. Let's start writing that down. Snake. Um. Was that the first one we've seen, or were there more, and I just missed it? Or were there more? <laughs> Been using some lotion, but I'll look for some aloe. Yeah, that would that would definitely help. But like, yeah, I actually, we went to, uh, where was that at? Yellowstone. And I, like, I have a picture where I have like so much sunscreen on my face. I look like a mime. And I had a huge wide brim hat that I bought for like $30 at the gift shop because I was so, <laughs> I was so desperate for some relief because I sunburned so bad. Oh, orange and then red. And then yellow. And then green. I haven't seen any more symbols yet anywhere. Hmm. There's purple again. Oh, there's one. For J. And then... Uh-oh. There's some kind of chamber on the other side of those poles. But if I move mm -hmm. the wrong one, the ceiling will collapse. Jake was too meticulous not to have left a clue somewhere as to how you're supposed to move them. Exactly. It has something to do with that symbol I saw before. See, that's what I'm saying, but I didn't see... I only saw, like, two, and I know there, there's got to be more. Okay, let's see. Let's go back. Mm. No! That was the wrong way. Oh wait, no it wasn't. Oh. Another symbol. Interesting. How, was, how are you supposed to know? I guess that one comes before. Oh goodness. Yes, since I've chopped my hair short, I've had issues with sunburnt ears and in the winter, super cold ears. Tempted to grow my hair back out just for the protection. Oh, yeah. Being sunburnt is never fun because, like, you already have all your energy just drained from being sunburnt. But then, like, you, it just it itches and it peels. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, which way? To the red? To to the yellow? No, we're, we're trying to go the other way. We're trying to go the opposite way. Mm-hmm. Do we? Yeah, we have that one written down. Oh, you've never seen the sliding scene before. Oh my gosh. Man, we are just discovering all the things in this one stream today. Oh, you've never been able to solve this puzzle before? Oh, really? Should I should I be worried? Like, is it can it be solved? I have no idea. I honestly don't remember how it goes. I know it I know you're supposed to like find the order of these symbols. No, oh, we made it out. Oh, we made it out. I was so worried. Okay, let's try again. 
And I'm going to be on the lookout. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for these symbols that apparently you're supposed to find. So do you have to go the wrong way too? To s oh, you do. See, look. Hmm. So technically... Oh my gosh, how do you know which ones to pull? So there's one. Hmm. Good question. Both activities seem fun. I can't get through here. What if I try? Is it bad? Do I, if I try it, is it? I can't get through here. Oh no, it just says you can't get through there. Okay, let's go back through. Purple, red, okay. What's over here? Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Jake must have made those symbols. The question is, why? Oh, look, these are the or. Oh, this is the order in which you pull the boards. Oh, that may. There's. Oh, and I have five symbols. Oh, and there's five. No, there's six. Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. This makes a lot of sense. Let's see. So which one's the first one? The cactus is the first one? And then uh, fire is the second. Snake is the third. The railroad sign is the fourth. The fish is the fifth. And the bat is the sixth. Oh. It annoys me because you have to go off the path to solve it legitimately, and I just don't think that's fair. <laughs> Having to go off the path to get one cliff delian key and actually the same way. Oh yeah. I get what you're talking about. So because this one's here, this this would be the fire, no? I would think so, right? So that's the second board you pull? Okay, we're gonna go see. Ah, oh, this is the fish one. Oh my gosh, this this is making sense to me right now. <gasps> Fluffy Monkey M, how are you? It's so good to see you. Purple, and we went this way. We couldn't fit that way. So go this way, and we went that way. Oh, we didn't go this way though. <laughs> Where did that just take me? <laughs> Where am I? What the what? That was a huge maze. So purple, red. Let's just go through yellow. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Oh, that's the sixth symbol. So what could that be? It's by a big rock. Is that the, hmm, any clue as to what that one could be? What in the Hagrid of the Harry Potter is happening right now? <laughs> what the knick-knack paddywhack is occurring on this stream right now? Uh, okay, I don't know what this is, but I know it's by some rock. So I'm just going to put rock with a question mark, and I'll just come back to it. Oh, man. I wish I knew. Hmm, <laughs> 
Okay, so this one's the snake one. Got it. So that's got to be three. Okay, well, in all honesty, we have at least three that we know for sure. So <laughs> do we need to solve the other two or should we just pull the boards? Oh, I didn't want to go. Oh, no. No. I'm so glad. That's funny. I'm. That's awesome that you use it in your everyday vocabulary now. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, my bad. This was my bad. I should have followed the arrows of the lizards. Oh my gosh, I don't know where I'm at right now. Uh, what's this way? No. Oh. Takes you nowhere. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get out of here. Didn't we already write this one down? Yeah, that's the snake. Oh, we're on the other side of the... Oh. Hmm. Oh, there's the bats. So what, mm-hmm. So if that's the bats, which one, which one would that one be? Yeah, like, how do you, oh, how do you know which one this one is? Go for it. So dumb is, so dumb question, is the color wheel like a compass to the boards? Um, I think the compass will tell you which direction you should follow the lizards to go the right path. Um, you're supposed to be able to figure out which boards are based on the symbols I don't know for two of them. Cactus? Bats. Actually, three of them, I don't know. I mean, in all technicality... Wait, let me go back. Mm. There were bats in here somewhere. Just don't know like that. Hmm. You usually go off the main. You usually go off the main course. I see, like that. How do? You, oh, that's what it is. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay. So then, this one's the cactus, which is one. Which means that we only have. Two that we don't know. And it's the it's either the bats or the railroad sign. Oh gosh, I really don't know. Bats or railroad sign. Bats or railroad sign. Ah. I don't know. So, the, so this one's either four or six question mark. Well, let's see if we have it right so far. This one should be one. I've seen that symbol before. <laughs> you love the sound. I do love the sound effects okay, too. So far, so good. So that's the first one. Uh, this one should be the second one. Uh, the chair should be the third one. Okay, this is what we don't know. All right, brace yourself, everyone. Okay, so four is either going to be the J or it's gonna be this rock symbol thing. Oh, gosh, I think that's this one. <gasps> yes, that was it. 
Oh yeah. Okay. 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 If do you remember earlier, you remember how the symbol, it was like in a rock tied to a rope and it was just like hanging there. And I was like, I don't know what this is. That is actually supposed to be the railroad symbol. You know how it goes like this? That's what that is. That's why that's four. And then five should be this one. And then six should be J. I should be able to get to there now. <laughs> what the knickknack knack whack? <laughs> we did it. We did it. Ah. Hurley, I presume. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Camille. No. It figures he'd be carrying a picture of her. It's really sweet that he has the picture mm, to him. Something underneath it. Jake Hurley. Co-postmaster Denver Territory of Colorado. Looks like a letter. April 14th, 1865. Oh. <laughs> Nancy reading things. Okay. This is the coolest thing ever. Okay. I don't... There's no way we would have known this. And I think it's so awesome that we get to see this at the end of the game. April 14th, 1865. My dear friend, Jake. Believe me, Jake, my boy, I can think of nothing more pleasant than touring the West aboard your private train. But much as I would like to accept your invitation, the duties and responsibilities of my office forbid it. I cannot leave Washington until this terrible war is over and the states are united once more. I would scarcely leave my office at all these days. Your humble friend, Abe. Were it not for Mary. Tonight, at her insistence, I will be accompanying her to the Ford Theater... To see a comedy called Our American Cousin. Have you seen it? Mary assures me that I'll enjoy it, despite the fact that for some strange reason, I've never felt at case. No, I felt at ease when at the theater. Perhaps tonight will be different. Write to me soon. Your mi missions? Your, miss your missus? Never fail to boost my spirit. Your humble friend Abe. Oh, that is so good. Oh man. Oh, oh my God. so good. This is from Abraham Lincoln. And April 14th is the day he was assassinated. This letter must be worth a fortune. That's just what I thought. <gasps> Culprit reveal. See what I didn't tell you when I gave you that letter Jake wrote to Ruth is that I also found his diary, which is how I found out he'd gotten to be friends with President Lincoln, and that he'd gotten a letter from Abe that he knew would be so valuable someday that he always kept it on his person. Can I have it? Sure. See, I knew if we could just find Jake's body, we'd find the letter. And you did it, Amy. You did it. I'm going to be famous. Good famous for once. Oh my gosh. So you never really cared about finding Jake's mine? Nah. I mean, it would have been nice if it was filled with gold and silver and stuff. But this is what I was really after. And you followed me because you didn't trust me? I trusted you to find it. I just didn't trust you to give it to me. And now that you have, you know, I say I found this all by myself. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What if there was like this cave-in and we were trapped, but I was the only one who made it out? Uh, excuse me? Oh my gosh! That way I could not only say that I found the letter, but that I tried to save you. Only you did something stupid, and it was all I could do to save myself. Oh my gosh! I'd make the national news for sure! Oh my gosh. And people would say I was smart and resourceful Nancy, get and out. courageous even! Lori, you can't be serious. That's crazy. You don't understand. People are finally going to respect me. I have to do this. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Lori! <gasps> oh. The opening's blocked. I'm trapped. It'll take forever to dig through those rocks. There's mm. gotta be another way out of here. A missive is a long letter. Oh, okay, okay. I was wondering. I was like, I don't know what that is. Maybe I could get out of here in this. Okay. Just want to say before we get started that I absolutely love that they added this as the end sequence part because it, it's just so fun. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, to the... To the dun, 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 dun. 
I think the next one's to the right too, yeah? Yeah, to the right. Oof, okay. Uh, to the right, to the right, to the right. <laughs> go, Nancy, go in your little cart of speed. Believe in yourself. Uh, uh, dream on your pixie dust. And you too can escape. Oh my gosh. Left or right. This is so exhilarating. Was that it? Was that it? Oh my gosh. I'm like, my heart is racing. My heart is racing. Oh, that gave me... My stomach literally dropped. Oh. What up, girl? It's me. <laughs> Thought you could get rid of me. Mori, are you all right? Nancy, is everything okay? It is now. As soon as we discovered you and Lori weren't on the train, we jumped off and hightailed it back here. What the heck's going on? I'm sure Lori will be glad to tell you all about it. Darn you, Natalie! It's Nancy. <laughs> Dear Hat, some hostess Lori Gerard Oh, to be. so good. When her father heard that she'd tried to seal me up in that mine, he canceled all her credit cards and said that from now on, Lori will have to support herself. She mm. has yet to stop crying. She should have gone to jail. told reporters that he knew what Lori was up to all along and said he let Frank, Joe, and me solve the case so we amateurs could enjoy his limelight. Joe was just about to belt him when a big argument broke out between John Gray and Charlena over whether John had really recorded Camille's ghost. She started wow. calling him a crackpot, and then he started calling her a hack. <gasps> and, well, let's just say that the drama was no longer interested in what Tino had to say. <laughs> As for Jake Hurley, it turns out that his letter from Abe Lincoln is worth a small fortune. Pretty ironic, huh? Jake spent his whole life searching for gold, when all along he possessed something far more valuable. His uncanny knack for making friends. Aww, that was a really sweet ending line. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, sassy detective, congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of... Pinkerton Award for going after suspects and questioning them relentlessly. I sure did. I was going to get the answers. Have you ever been to Paris, France? Well, preparez-vous, because that's where my next mystery adventure takes place. Ah, I'm I love this one. Minette, a famous fashion designer. I'll be working undercover to find out why she's been acting so peculiar lately. Throwing tantrums, firing people. She's even started wearing a mask for no apparent reason. Her studio is in this spooky-looking centuries-old Moulin. That's French Moulin. for windmill. Of course, that doesn't have anything to do with her strange behavior. Or does it? Only one way to find out. Help me solve my next case. Danger by design. A la prochaine. Oh, that was so good. That was so, so good. You've never seen that award before. I'm telling you, this was the stream to just get all the things we've never seen before because i was gonna say i've never seen that award either <laughs> a relentless sleuth we love to see it this is this is me i'm relentless i'm relentless oh my gosh you guys that was so fun that literally felt like one of my first times playing this game oh my gosh it was so good so fun i will now forever be so excited to know about the fact that you can actually go to where Lori was at and see the button that she pushed to escape. The magic of waiting three years to replay. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Oh, man. This is so true. Well, I just want to say shout out to all the amazing people in the credits that created this game because they, they made something pretty phenomenal um yeah this is really good it was so good 
Okay, let me go ahead and switch back over. All right, you guys. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for joining today's stream. Tonight's stream, I guess I should say. Um, I really appreciate it. It was so fun talking and chatting with you guys and solving a Friday night mystery. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I hope you rest well tonight. And I just want to shout out everyone that may be lurking. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I seriously had such a great time with you guys. You are so fun to hang with. The game must have heard you talking about how savage Nancy was to Tino, and that's why it gave you that award. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't letting nothing fly, man. Nothing flying on my watch. So, yes. But anyways, so fun. So fun. Well, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and head on out. I've had a great time with you. Remember to keep it um, funky and have a great rest of your Friday night. Bye, guys.